Alrighty there, let me know if anyone's here and if you can hear me. Hello Light176, hello Splitten, Box Tofu, Real Winter Sleep, Bunyip, Salison, Otaki, Rev Legend, RTMN, Ilrath, Draconite, Trinus, Dr. Mothman, Transcending Gauss, Little Miss Pink. Why are you throwing a fucking brick at me? Hello Drowning Skies, Literal Trash, Evolved, No Nut, Forty Fire, Clever Irish Potato, Danky Brain, Gorilla Dimension, Apple for Apples, Linux, Colonel Martyr, Avil, Pirate Idealist, Starlight Coffee, Sir Pisley, Golden Plato. You're throwing. Why are you all throwing bricks at me, dude? What the fuck? Hello, Delta Wave, Riel, just a robot mom. This brick shit has got to go. I've got a soft fucking head. You're gonna like kill me if you throw that. Hello, Salty Marcaroni, Tallbird. Why didn't you tell me so much of the Cal Ren was painted? I, I, you didn't ask me. Uh, <laughs> I can't answer questions that are never asked to me. I think I've mentioned whenever I've talked about it that it has a lot of parts painted on. Hello, Midnight Note. Bruner, I like to paint. Silver Fox, been cookie clicking all day. Even worse, I've been playing RuneScape, so I think you're better off than me. Hello, Walk and Talking Robot, Pointy Superman. Tired Sloth, Chump Cump. Can we get a version of that Brick emote? But it's the totem being thrown. That would be really fucking funny, honestly. I would. I think that would be way better than the Brick. Chump Cump, you have good ideas. Hello, Avin. Hello, AEF. Broham. Stream I can stay up for. Well, you gotta make sure you don't hit curfew. Hello, Charizard. Machine Gun Weasel. We are gonna... We're not gonna do the bricks anymore. Like, we're not throwing these anymore. The totem, the little Sonic totem that CWC made. It's the Sonic emote. The fucked up looking like paper mache nightmare. Hello, Trina. I was watching more Jimin and the pulsating mass VODs for hours before this. That was a good fucking game. It was so surprising that it was just legitimately an indie game that was actually 40 hours long. Hello, Bubble Tea Pop. Hello, Growlix. Thank you for the 47-month resub. I appreciate it. Hello, Cooler Matt Wentz Book Club. I don't know. We need to... I need to order that fucking book I was talking about last night. We need to do a reading stream of it. But I, I would be worried for two reasons. I'm not convinced that people would want to listen to me just read a book. And two, it would feel kind of like mean-spirited to read a book knowing you were probably going to have not very nice things to say about it. Uh, what book? The one we found in that one store. The Unfuck Your Eating book. No, Faxa 2. It's even worse. It's, uh... I, I don't know much about it, but what I saw skimming the pages is there's a chapter saying that, like, fatness and how, you know, being body negative i guess is anti-black anti-queer anti-lgbt hello kohakuru dr b bones beanie 2988 nipple my son richter the fourth i'm genuinely really interested in the reasoning for that i'm not saying that i i i mean i didn't read it so i don't know what the points are so i can't really disagree i don't think i'll agree with them but maybe i could be convinced i, I would need to know what the argument is guess i'm homophobic then um i'm not really particularly inclined to trust a self-help book about losing weight that uses the word fat phobia though <laughs> i will i will say that that is uh maybe a little bit weird for me hello belittle hello susky thank you for the 100 month resub that's a long fucking time I definitely, um, I don't think any of us expected back then that there would be a hundred month long subs. Thank you very much, dude. I appreciate it. Hello, Duckworth. Lunkin Purr. Also read Unfuck Your Sex Toys. I don't have sex toys. Like, I don't think I've ever had one. Sounds like a nice mindset for learning new things, I think. Just being curious and going to see what they're talking about, even if you, yeah. You gotta drop your preconceived notions, right? You gotta, if you really want to learn, you need to look at everything as if you were a child experiencing it for the first time. I try to do that. I don't always succeed, but I try. Hello, Jiggly. Currently at a rosary, but I found a cool dog to keep me company, so I'm hoping people are... You're one of those. I'm the same. Like, when you're at the function, 
when you're at the function at the structure and you can't just chill at it you have to find a dog or an animal and get it to like sit on you so you have an excuse not to move and socialize exposing yourself to opposing ideas is how you grow and reaffirm your beliefs just notice just now notice the banjo in the background a fine addition he's been a needy fucking baby today he's been a spoiled little puppy hello it's me your dog today we're going to do you know spoiler alert for later in the stream we're going to watch another king cobra video hold your excitement i know but i think this one has uh potential to be something really impactful hello yaminski hello kin of the flames hello raw bagel eater it won't be an eating video though like you're not gonna have to watch him make food so i will tell you that it's not gonna be that kind of video the doggo has been keeping me company because he's getting sad looking at my uncle's pics it's big old doggo posted a pic of him and dogs their name is luca if it their name is luca it's like a 95 percent chance that it's a husky let me see oh, hold on no it's a german shepherd i've known so many huskies named luca like that is oh like luca and loki i feel are like the most popular names for huskies in texas uh, thank you ghost by rider for the 33 month resub i appreciate it hope you and ghost are having a good trip 100 percent chance they live on the second floor i've never had to experience the uh noisy motherfucker on top of me situation usually i'm the noisy motherfucker on top of someone else I feel sad seeing huskies on walks at parks in 100 plus degree weather. Yeah, um, in theory, the double coated dogs, if they have a well maintained coat, the double coat allows them to kind of circulate the cool air and like keep it trapped and it's not as bad as you would think. But I still don't really trust that. I don't really like taking Sif out above 80 degree weather personally, especially now that she's an old lady. So, eh, it is a little fucked. Today was a bit better than yesterday. Well, that's good. That's really good. Did you do the concert yet, or is that another day? Hello, Siamese Sneeze. Can handle King Cobra's cooking vid since my dad will make slop and leave it overnight. Yeah, you know, for all of the uh, spectacle of a King Cobra food hack, my dad fed me half-cooked fish sticks as a kid. And I think I would rather have King Cobra's food because at least it's cooked. <laughs> like, you're not going to die from eating it, I think. Uh, thank you, Dridsy, for the 37-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hello, Phoenix Link. Zary. My double-coated dog prefers to lay on the AC vents instead of going outside when it's that hot. I used to fucking love... When I was a kid, I was born in a mobile home. My parents lived in a trailer. And there were these vents on the floor that shot out cold air and i loved getting like a blanket or a sheet and making like a weird cold air bubble tent i kind of want to live in a trailer again just so i can do that again dude the core childhood memories making a, a weird little vent tent there's a ray blocking off my entire street and i can't leave to get food there's white girl ass flooding the streets i mean there are worse things that could be flooding the streets i suppose Hello, sushi fish. Mad impressed that Otter recreated the recipe. No, what do you mean? She just put like cheese on pizza rolls. That's nowhere near the the mush mountain nachos. My dad tried to make me eat undercooked chicken when I was like five, but he actually listened when I said it looked funny. That's good. What is it with like w like middle aged white men, elderly white men, and like eating shit like unseasoned chicken breast or like half cooked fish sticks? I hope I, like, it's not a gradual transformation where one day I'm going to be like that. Thank you, Volwave, for the 57-month resub. Hello, Dan PMK. I made a normal meal today. Here, I'll send you a photo. That looks good. It's missing the hot dogs, though. Favorite part of the Cobes food videos is the weird toothpick strategy he does with burritos. I don't think I've taken note of that. Admittedly, a lot of the times when I have King Cobra on, I'm not actively watching... I have him. So if you think I'm fucked up for watching those videos, it's probably even more fucked that I genuinely like listening to King Cobra and Cyrax talk in the background. I don't know what it is. Just like, 
you're stuck in a mental ward ASMR. <laughs> like half of the time, I'm not really watching that that closely. That's why whenever I actually like get Autumn to watch the videos and I actually have to watch it, I start laughing because I don't realize how fucked the actual uh, events that are happening in the video are. You seen what happened on King Cobra's GF stream? Is you know I. <sighs> I want to be a comedy master one day, but I just can't, I can't get it. I can't get it right. I posted a joke in my fucking Discord earlier that I thought was really, really, really fucking funny, but it didn't seem like it landed with them. It didn't seem like, like other people thought it was funny. I was talking about, um, God, what was it? Like, I had a setup for it and everything. I said, like, oh my God, did you guys see that Disney announced like a new Sleeping Beauty, a live action movie. It seems like they're continuing the trend with the Sleeping Beauty movies. I was getting them going like, and, and someone found like a uh, sleep, like woke sleep beauty thing. And I'm like, no, it's not that. And I posted this image because it looks like that man is fucking dead. <laughs> it looks like Cobra is completely fucking like KO'd. And apparently they had like weird shadow boxing sex or something on stream. And so if that's what you're referring to, I've heard of it, but I haven't seen it. Um, like I would watch Sleeping Beauty with King Cobra. Like that would be sick as fuck. No, no. Okay, what what else happened? Hello, Lit Rock. Just assumed that was an actual production image from the movie. The other thing? No, I'm not sure. Shadow boxing sex. It was like the most fucked up rendition of uh, Plato's Cave ever, where the live stream was muted and you could just see like a shadow bobbing up and down on another shadow. <laughs> you couldn't see anything except the shadows, and it it was bizarre. Uh, really funny though. Really fucking funny. I wish, you, man. There must be something about like Wyoming water. I hope you're well and enjoy your King Cobra erotica. Well, thank you. Thank you. You know I love it. Speaker game as much as the next person, but mainlining King Cobra content. Yeah, I've been watching King Cobra for years. That's not a new thing for me. Honestly, the thing that should give you pause and concern for my mental state is the fact that I listen to Cyrax. However bad you think King Cobra is, Cyrax is like, Maybe the single most reprehensible person on the internet. <laughs> like, it's a big competition, but... Ooh -wee. Hello, Poe the Cow. Hello, Tubby0815. I actually like King Cobra. I don't really like Cyrax. I'm not sure why I watch those videos. It's just, you know, the train wreck fascination, I suppose. Oh, we. But yeah, I should probably stop talking about it. Like, that's the thing. Like, I always get hyper fixated on one subject. I'm trying to veer away from, like, political stuff. Um, so, the things I'm interested in right now are, like, weird-ass King Cobra JFS videos or RuneScape. I feel like RuneScape is maybe the single most poisonous thing I could talk about. Because, like, three people at any given moment will understand what it is I'm talking about. And then when I state that it's RuneScape 3 and not old school... Only one person will understand. The uh, the two of the three will be gone. Hello, ghost. Like King Cobra, if you didn't make those, I can't wait till she's 18 remarks. That's fair. That's fair. He's not perfect. Do you watch videos on the side with RuneScape? Are you mega focus? I don't really, uh... I don't really, um... Pay that much attention to the video on the other screen. It's like what people do with my streams where they just kind of keep it in as like a box fan in the background. Hello, Soren. Doing cooking videos. Have you already burned through Jack K? I haven't seen Jack. I know a little bit about K, but I think King Cobra is the best because there's just, I don't know. There's something about him. There's something about his vigor. Hello, Mio from China. The knockoff Gundam stores here are balling. I bet, dude, I would love to go to China just for that. Hello, remember, Klee. Those bootlegs are fucking good. I'm working on one right now. And it's taking uh, basically the rest of my life because there's so many details. I know a lot of the people who buy Bandai products get really upset 
because the third party models have too much surface detail. But I really like it. I really enjoy it. I think some of the actual Gundam designs, especially after tooling around with some of the better third party options, look like uh, like Transformers toys with no detail at all. So I don't get how Cobra could spend eighty dollars on mushy volcanoes but can't get his teeth fixed. Tooth shit is expensive, brother, and tooth shit also fucking hurts. How are you empty perspective? I think when I got my mom dentures, I she had like a similar situation. She was taking fish antibiotics to try to alleviate the pain in her mouth. Um, I think it was something to the tune of $3,000 to get all of them pulled, to get dentures. Um, shit's not cheap. And uh, you also have to psych yourself into going to the dentist to get all of your teeth pulled. Which... <laughs> I don't know. That's a... Ooh. Hello, Katzel. I, I don't know if I would be able to will myself into doing that. It would have to be pretty fucking bad. And a, f a single cavity filling cost me 200 bucks with insurance? Yeah, it's pretty expensive. It's a little outrageous. Dental insurance and still had to pay like $140 for a filling. I feel like he might struggle to have a good dental routine. Yeah, he can't like he can't regularly brush his teeth. He doesn't have enough executive function to like br brush his teeth on a regular basis. So you need to realize that he's he's just not functioning on the same mental baseline as everyone else. He's got like like learning disabilities, mental disorders, and it's unreasonable to expect him to be on that point. Hello, Hanago. So multiple trips or one long session. It was one long session. My mom got dentures only in the front. It still cost over $1,000 with insurance. Dental insurance is pretty much a scam. I don't know about that. But insurance in general in America is maybe not the best. How does Cobra make money? Uh, people donate to him to talk shit. He even has a term for it. It's called the Donate to Talk Shit Hotline. Where if you want a, him to read your message, he usually won't read it unless you give him money. So if you want to insult him... You have to give him like five dollars, and people do a lot of uh, donate to talk shits. I had necrosis in the gums, and they cleaned it out with a hypersonic tool. My gums are flapping around like Marilyn Monroe's skirt. That's fucking ugh. I need to go back. It's been like a year. I'm sure I have some other horrible nightmare looming on the horizon in my mouth. Insurance poisons medical services by artificially inflating prices. Never use Cigna if you could avoid it. Yeah, you should use Sugma instead. Reminds me of that T. Rucker guy. I don't know who that is. Could you please sing a birthday song for Soul Zero? It was on Sunday, and he might not be on right now, but I know he watches your VODs. So, what if I get scammed, and I sing a birthday song for someone who's not here, and then he shows up and asks me to sing a second one? That's what I'm worried about. Do you think I should do it anyways? Sing a birthday song to nobody? <laughs> well, not to nobody, but to someone who's not here. Do it? <sighs> Hello, Sanctus Even. All right. <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. To you. Happy birthday, dear Soul Zero. Happy birthday to you. I hope that wasn't in vain. Hello, VOD watcher. People don't watch VODs, do they? That shit's. I don't know. This goes out to all the VOD watchers out there. I feel a little ill after that entire box of macaroni. Dude, macaroni sounds fucking good. Dude, Autumn, you know that one woman at the Pizza Hut who, like, calls us by our last name and gets, like, weirdly excited to see us? You know, you know who I'm talking about? She was there today. I hadn't seen her in forever. And she was like, oh, Mr. Tolomeo. And <laughs> I, I was caught really off guard with how chipper she was. It was like, I don't, I, I can't remember the last time someone has been that like, 
excited to see me and it's just like the person who works at fucking pizza hut so i don't know how to i don't know how to deal with that hello roylan was watching the kindergarten vod while farming warframe last night good times consider eating a second box of macaroni dude we need to get like a big old fucking tub of macaroni just both of us eat as much as we can pig out got a little bruise on my gum did not hurt or whatever went to the dentist checked and was a root canal very fun thankfully i've never had a root canal yet but i have had some pretty miserable um dental procedures both in terms of like repairing teeth and in orthodontics john tolomeo hell yeah i wish my first name was john i have one of the do you believe in that that bullshit? I don't know. I don't remember what it's called, but there's like a theory that you can somewhat determine the trajectory a person will take in life based off of what their name is. And I'm a Kyle. Hello, Noodle. Please don't hit my teeth with a stone. I would probably try to kill you if you did that. Mr. Dark Souls, your pizza's ready. Hello, Ron M.U. If you'd like to join the RuneScape 3 clan, message me on Discord. I think we got all of the blood we're going to get out of that stone. I don't think there's... I think Oak Tree mentioned playing, but I don't know if Oak Tree's in the guild. That's the only person I'm aware of, though. Hello, Oregon Death Race. I had no idea Oak Tree was like a RuneScaper. The RuneScape Ambassador. Man, that game is a problem. I don't know. I didn't think I could get like that into an MMO ever again, so. But here we are in 2024. Hello, Ifriot. Eight studies would demonstrate the existence of this effect as participants examining an unfamiliar face accurately select a person's true name from a list of several names significantly above chance level. We replicate the effect in two countries and find that it extends beyond the limits of socioeconomic cues. Our faces look like our names. Man, I don't like that. People say all the people with my name are super emo and edgy and that's the opposite of me. Hello, Chovy. Does RuneScape 3 work like OS OSRS? It's different, but it's mostly. Hello, Energy. Your crew to get some Castle Wars done. I need to do, like, I need to shoot, like, a fucking catapult in Castle Wars for, like, a diary or some bullshit. So, maybe I'll, I'll hit you up on that. Maybe we could also do the Dagonoth Kings, where I could get two Stooges to kill Prime and Rex, so I can have Supreme all to myself. And I can just fuck him like a McChicken. First name... Dude, having a first name like Kashmir, you, that means you've got to be rich as hell, right? Speaking of studies, did you guys see that scientists did a study where they tickled rats to see and document their happy body language? Yeah, they like boggle. I've, I've had rats boggle on me before, and it's a very strange experience. Extremely poor, actually. Well, you know, it's only temporary. You'll... you'll You'll come into your own. Hello, Mian. What's up? How are you? I wonder if I look like a Kyle. I'm not really sure what other Kyles look like. I haven't met too many. I definitely... You know you know what's fucked up? When I think of a face associated with the name Kyle, I think of two people. Hank Hill Propane God and Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs> Those are the two people who's, who are Kyle's where I actually know their face. So, Shovel, I don't really know what Shovel's face looks like. I think he posted it and people told him he looked like Elliot Roger, but I never saw it. So, or at least if I did, I don't remember. The fuck is the second person? Kyle Rittenhouse? Really? Oh, Kyle Mc... Yeah, yeah, him too. I don't look anything like him. The crying image of Kyle right now specific. Yeah. Yeah, you know the one. You know the one. There's a Kyle and a Fire Emblem that's a pretty alright unit. I took a picture with people and they said I look like Dream and I've never felt more insulted. Hello, Matt Mank. Dream? I mean, Dream's not a bad looking guy. I know that people were like, ah ha ha, Dream is ugly, but I really don't feel like he he was like he wasn't like super sexy like uh some other people but hello kilogen tolo in real life looks like kyle mclaughlin with a beard maybe in six more months i'll get a beard i need a little more work on it. i need to put a little more uh 
tactical beard oil, God of War beard oil on it, and then maybe. Hello, Rumbles. Don't want to be associated with them. That's fair. I think people were just mocking Dream because he's a bad person, not because he actually looks that bad. Not our dreams? No, 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 no. We're talking about, like, uh, that's what the mask is for? Dreams. Just a regular guy, not super attractive or ugly. Isn't that fucked up, though? I do not like Dream, the content creator. Dreams, the person in our server, is delightful. Um, just making that distinction. But I feel like there's a lot of things you could probably point to before you start attacking, like, uh, you know, average-looking dudes for being average. Like, maybe the Discord kitten thing. <laughs> like the Minecraft shit. Variety of other things. Dream Charles Manson and Jesus. I've got that really long wavy hair too. So I don't know. I guess like I personally feel like I look unique as in like fucked up. Um, I don't think I I'm good looking, but I don't really look like I like very many other people. Like I would have trouble pointing to someone I felt looked like me. Um I don't know, because I got, like, a weird fucked up nose that immediately makes it, like, really fucking hard to get a face match. Hello, Avianer. I don't have anything good to eat tonight. I had Pizza Hut earlier. It was all right. I, the wings, they actually put so much sauce on the fucking wings that when I opened the thing, it went up my nose and made me sniffle a little bit. That almost never happens to me. I think uh, as I lose more weight, my resistance to spice... Is going away. I had a centipede next to my bed when I was three, like a like a pet centipede. That's weird. That's really bizarre. That wouldn't be my first choice of a pet. Big fat ugly cockroach. Worst bug I found in my house. Um. So, I don't know. Worst bug I've ever found. In my house. Otter bug? No. No, that's a good bug. Except when she's crawling up the stairs on all fours. Then that's a little fucking weird, admittedly. Um, probably... I, I, I know it's not technically a bug, but scorpions count, right? Like, I've had two scorpions both in the same bathroom. Both, like, me being a couple inches from stepping on them. I would say those were probably the worst. Even though they're arachnids and not bugs. So that would probably be my vote. In my old house I lived in as a kid, it would definitely be the tarantula, which are also arachnids. Hello, I hate spiders. Hello, Blowrath. Lived in New York all my life, never seen a natural scorpion. I've only seen two in like the last 17, 18 years living here. However fucking long it's been. When I lived in San Antonio, every day. Like, if you went outside when it was dark out, there would be at least ten scorpions on the walls. My parents had built, like, a brick house way out in the fucking boonies. And there were tarantulas, there were scorpions, there were tons of geckos. All sorts of bullshit. They crawl on walls? They sure do. <laughs> they, they love brick walls. Like, because, you know, some brick houses have, like, the little uh, slits in between the bricks. Where creepy crawlies can get in. Geckos and scorpions fucking love that shit. I have silverfish, harmless except for the inevitable heart attack I get from the surprise. Hello, cat chat, dragon's dog. Yeah, I guess everyone's having a lot of fun with it. I hope it's been great. Had one crawl in my shirt while I was asleep. I see scorpions all spring through fall in and around the house. There's not too many bad bugs here. Silverfish are gross. They get in your food. It's weird, though, because, like, when I was in San Antonio, we were in, like, a very, not quite a desert, but desert-adjacent, like, mount mountainous area, hilly area, and maybe not mountainous. Um, here, it's, like, a green fucking, like, wonderland. Like, there's all sorts of foliage everywhere. Like, it's a very green part of Texas, it's like North Texas. It's very nice, but there's not that many bugs compared to the fucked up like like desert area. 
when you see enough grain weevils, insects start looking a lot like extra protein. Have you gotten the Indian meal moths that occasionally, if you're not diligent with uh, closing your, your pantry, they can get in there and start laying moth eggs in your food? Those are fun. Had those a couple times throughout my life. If there's more green, there has to be more snakes. There used to be. There used to be. We've seen snakes here. Hello, Justy Gamer John. To this day, one of the worst animal interactions I've ever had is a snake got in the house about like a foot and a half, two feet long, but really thin. And I didn't know what the fuck kind of snake it was. I'm not really well versed in snakes. And it got into the laundry room specifically. And I wanted to find out like if it was venomous or not. And it started rattling at me. And I, the dogs at that point had realized it was there. So I decided to get a broom and completely bludgeon the fucking thing and kill it. Because I'm aware that with snakes, there's a thing where uh, young, uh, young individuals of venomous species are sometimes worse to be bit by than the adults because they haven't learned how to manage like the venom. So you, adult snakes will give you like a warning bite that doesn't have a shit ton of venom because they try to conserve it. But the babies fucking blow their full load in you. Um, that I could have phrased that a little bit better. So I killed it with extreme prejudice and I looked at its corpse and found out what kind of snake it was. It was a harmless king snake. And I guess they have learned to mimic the rattlesnakes as a defense mechanism. And that is the only reason I killed it is because I was worried it was a baby rattlesnake that hadn't got its rattles yet or something. And I felt terrible. I don't really regret it because I didn't know and I didn't want to risk the dogs getting bit. But I felt real shitty after that one for a while. Tolomeo Lord, yeah, well, it wasn't fun. Was that in this house? Yes. Hello, hand the banana. That was, there used to not be so many houses around. Our backyard used to be this huge fucking field. And there were, we had no neighbors behind us with security cameras that whistle at me every night. Um, there was a lot of strange things that would come in from that field. We had a birdhouse and a huge ass rattlesnake <laughs> fucking was like climbing up the uh, end of the birdhouse to eat the fucking baby birds. So, you know... There were, uh, there were, there were some creatures that would show up from time to time. Hello, Genso Kaizo. I'll cry if I ever see. It. Well, no, I don't think you will because, like, we're suburbia now. There's not really like uh, undeveloped areas around the house anymore. So, I would be surprised if that ever happened again. But you, I'm gonna, you know, one day, I'm going to like stealthily put toads in like the bathroom or something so that when you go to like take a shit or something there's just gonna be a toad in there and you're gonna have a heart attack <laughs> like if i wanted to assassinate you that's how i would do it i think also today i have i have to come to you all for advice i need you guys to try to steer me in the right direction with the situation that I'm having in my personal life. Um, there's a lot of different people who come from all sorts of different walks of life. And I figure maybe one or two of you will have something interesting for me, like a new perspective that I hadn't thought of. Because this is a situation that's been bothering me all day. It's been in my head and, you know, it's really been... Uh, Farm Pig sent me this image today and steam messenger and i don't know what it means and i'm trying to figure it out like what he's trying to communicate to me like he there was no text associated it was just this message raw dogged into my steam and i don't know what it means why would he do this bling it up baby slave to the grind he's calling you a gay baby it's the inverse of pimp daddy it's a pimp baby could be on ecstasy part of the farm pig arg showing off his eyes hello third world weeb it means you are the guy and he is the pacifier so is he hitting on me is that what you're saying a rich sucker that is a very nice binky he's a very very nice binky i think he just sent you some ice for real apparently the diamonds are real i believe it 
Maybe Farm Pig is Kanye West. I've heard him talk in voice chat. And I, I can't see Kanye doing the Farm Pig voice. He's like, oh, hello. <laughs> That's what Farm Pig sounds like. Very, very curt, very, very polite. Not talkative at all. Um, you know, it's it's kind of hard to describe almost. He sounds slightly sophisticated. Posh, maybe, would be the way that the Britannians say it. British? He's Lithuanian, but it feels like he's got a touch of the Brit bong in him. Um, I don't know what a Lithuanian accent is supposed to sound like, though. Hello, Mark Anthony. What if that's how Vetus sounds? Like I just thought about that. The only two people I know who are from Lithuania are Farm Pig and Vetus. What if Vetus is like, oh, hello, it's me, Vetus. How are you doing today, Tolomeo? <laughs> like, I, I can't do his voice justice. You have to hear it. Like it's it's way funnier if you can hear if you can conjure Farm Pig's voice. That damage your teeth, the binky? Yeah, probably would. Don't, like, certain mouth piercings, like lip piercings, rub against your teeth and damage your teeth? Vetus is farm pig? I thought about it, but I don't think that's the case. Just imagined a Lithuanian accent as, like, a dude with... So, like, gay people, like, flamboyant gay people who are Lisbon. It's not Lisbuania, it's Lithuania. Love when farm pig enters with hello. I think farm pig would make a fire game, maybe... Hello, Cactorm. You just reminded me I want an eyebrow piercing. I want big, fat, square fucking ice cubes in my ears. I want to be a baller. I want to be a shot caller. I want to be blinging. I want to be a real-life blingy. I think some fucked-up people could make some real creative shit. Yeah, I think that... There's a meme image of... Let me remember... I don't know his full name. It's the guy who made the This Is My Hole It Is Calling To Me. The really fucked up, like, Japanese horror manga stuff. You know what I'm talking about. Um, ju yeah, Junji Ito. And they have him, like, in the same image as uh, the Miyazaki guy who makes all of the colorful, happy movies. And Miyazaki looks dour. <laughs> he looks like he is not having a good time. But the, the guy making all the fucked up scary shit is all smiles. He's he's like a, he seems like a pretty, uh, you know, high energy, lovely dude. So why are you pronouncing his name correctly? Because I don't want the fucking pronunciation police up my ass today. Puts his demons on the outside. It's a great dynamic between the two. I wonder how many Texan gooners are mad about the porn ban. Those people got issues on Reddit already. Um, see, this is a frustrating conversation because I don't give a shit about Pornhub, but I also don't like the idea of anyone being upset about the government exercising, like, censorship to be, like, a weird gooner or some porn addict. <laughs> That's how they get you. Like, if you're someone, and I'm not saying this is you, Silver Fox, but the people who are, like, trying to play this is, like, everyone who could possibly have a problem with this is like a sex deviant are legitimately brainwashed did you see the manga artist that did the glass of water that looks like a photo no i don't know much about mangies kind of mad about yeah you have every right to be i'm mad for i'm mad because i think it's a foot in the door where they're going to use similarly flimsy justifications to censor other things but even if you believe them at face value that we're doing it for them kids. Like, it's not my job to prevent your little kid from seeing weird shit on the internet. Like, what happened to the party of personal <laughs> responsibility? Maybe you should, like, actually, you know, pay attention to what your kids are watching. Uh, you know, just my, just my opinion. I don't know why everyone has to go along with this. Let's upload our ID to the fucking internet. I sure trust. Like, I've never done that, and I never will. Um, I, uh, I'm aware that the feds have all of my info, but that doesn't mean there are other, like, I don't want to give it to like a website where corporations can get it or like some fucked up, like data breach happens. Cause we know data breaches are a rarity. People say, 
Oh, well, there's no fucking... Like, they don't store the information. Why would they do that? I don't believe it. Like, <laughs> I don't trust it. I never will. I never will. Like, this is one of the things where maybe I'm illogical. Maybe you could show me something that says, like, this ID technology does not store your bullshit. But I'm not... I'm never going to believe it on principle. I will gladly be wrong about that one in the interest of erring on the side of caution. Feels daft to give companies the benefit of the doubt, in my opinion. Armchair parents drive me nuts. Parental controls exist. Maybe actually parent your dumbass kids. And I was a victim of, like, unsupervised internet stuff. Uh, I saw porn for the first time, and I was, like, legitimately 10 years old. I hadn't even hit puberty. And I turned out fine, right? <laughs> I, I turned out to be a sterling example of, of humanity, you know? Just a shining example of everything good about human beings. Hey, Tolo, can I get a very nonchalant birthday song? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear DJ Jamsta Sonachu. Happy birthday to you. Hopefully that was nonchalant enough. But what 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 else are we talking about? It's stupid because porn up or whatever the other adults do not have the security of restoring people's. No, I agree 100% tyranny. And like, this is one of the things where I, I could sit here and bore you to death about like all sorts of things. Like, okay, so it's impossible for the government right now like the reason you can't get on Pornhub is because they're explicitly not complying with the law that texas has you know legislated a thank you most creative name for the 55 month resub i appreciate it thank you very much you think that people are just going to be like oh okay well i guess porn is dead lol lamau no um they're going to go to different websites and when those get clamped on they're going to go to increasingly you know, unregulated websites where, uh, I don't know, dude, I don't know. Um, if the concern is about kids, then maybe there's something to be said about, uh, having that as a concern. Have you seen the auto-tune Cyrax furry arc that's going on now? Yes. Yes. Hello, Aero Kitsune. 4chan P4 circa 2007. Yeah. Yeah, uh, thank you, Lizardly Liz, for the two-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Just to pander for votes. Well, here's the thing. I, I made a jab at the party of personal responsibility, but as far as Texas is concerned, I'm pretty sure the Democrats voted for this shit, too. So you can't even pin this particular demon on, on uh, the evil right this time. Um, it seems like Texas politicians as a whole are on board with this, so... I don't know how it looks for other states that have similar laws, but everyone is uh, everyone is a cunt here. A fucking Texas is great. I love Texas. Yippee. Maybe they'll accept me and Autumn in Japan because apparently they have like a big like cowboy fetish thing where, you know, they love the wild, wild west and it's like weeaboo. So I could I could move to some fucked up like Japanese town where they cosplay as like cowboys i gotta save kids from the evils of the interwebs rawhide kobayashi just waiting for 1984 government produced porn took a long nap and now i hate myself and want to die well i'm sorry i have something in store this stream that i think will rejuvenate your desire to live and survive and thrive meanwhile the power grid and other infrastructure yeah yeah it's not ideal it's not ideal. Uh, Texas is kind of a shithole as far as politics go. It sucks because I really don't... Honestly, I kind of like Texas in some ways. I don't like the heat. I don't like the government. But aside from that, if those two things were fixed, I guess it wouldn't be Texas anymore. But, uh, you know, I like most other aspects of it. When are they banning Skibbity Toilet so my dumb nephew can stop singing it? We need to be... We need to be understanding towards the younger generation's memes. Remember, we used to watch YouTube poops. Some people in this chat still do if video night is anything to go by. Pretty big state. You have communities of all sorts of... Yeah, you do, for sure. My part of Texas, Dallas specifically, I like. There are other parts of Texas I'm not so keen on, and I guess... Sorry. 
Seth, can you drop the gun? Can you drop the gun? Seth, no firearms are allowed in this household. Drop it. Drop it. Stop. Get some help. Okay. Okay, I think we managed to defuse that one. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess the stereotype for Dallasites is we think we're better than everybody else. Uh, I guess the rest of Texas perceives people hailing from Dallas as stuck up uh, on their high horse. <laughs> Maybe that's true. That is pretty true from from uh people i've met honestly i can't really deny that there was one nay vote for the texas porn ban law two no votes 13 absents in the texas house all 31 texas senate members voted yay just to confirm that yeah that sounds about right what's the difference between a nay and a no vote isn't dallas where a lot of people from cali moved to you're probably thinking of austin although i'm sure a lot of them moved to dallas too austin is the gay liberal capital of texas and dallas is probably number two after austin Gen Alpha is going to be giga based. They're already spamming you alone. Nothing. You will be happy meme. There's like the, I, I don't remember exactly what they're called, but in China, there's like the lay down and die generation where they're just refusing to do anything, which is, well, it's not an entire generation, obviously. It's a subset of younger people in China. Houston resident here. It's also shit. Greg Abbott is so egotistical. He thinks he's above the U.S. government. We're really getting a Confederates 2.0 at this rate. Most of it is just saber-rattling bullshit, I think. But I, I also thought that was what they were doing with abortion. So maybe not. Hello, listen, Angela. I still, you know, I look like a real asshole because for years and years I was saying there's no way they're ever going to fucking ban abortion. Like, they just want to use it to, you know, get the evangelical vote. Like, there's no way they're actually going to do it. <laughs> I was definitely wrong about that. Um, so maybe like the like the one time I've been wrong, right? All these anti-immigration abortion laws, I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, we need to stop talking about all this serious shit. Sorry. We need to watch a new King Cobra JFS video. This is actually an exclusive video that I don't think any of you, even the King Cobra heads, you've probably not seen this before in your life i haven't seen it either let me let me get this up on here i don't know how to do this website it's uh it's a cameo uh, i think cooler well cooler matt is responsible for this he told me not to listen to it until stream so I, I abided by that. I have no idea what's in this video, so this is going to be a live reaction. What is this site? It's Cameo. It's where you pay someone to like say some shit for you. The last time one of these was done and shown to me, it was Boogie wishing me happy birthday. So hopefully this one is a little bit more enjoyable. Let's let's find out. Hey, cheers to Mesa Coco. Happy birthday. <laughs> And there's another person on here by the name of Tolomeo. <laughs> wants advice on brewing his own mead. It's pretty straightforward. You want to use Diet Coke for your mead. <laughs> then I would use that as the base liquid. And then you want to add a bunch of pure cane sugar to that. Yeah, oh, my and God. And some, uh, some honey. And stir that around <laughs> until it's all dissolved in the Diet Coke. And you want to add, like, a little packet of... Uh, wine making yeast, I'd recommend like 1114 if you're not in a rush to wait. All right. But if you want to get it done quicker, I'd use turbo yeast. There are plenty of mead making videos out there on YouTube, including my own, so check them out. And they're right now sipping on this delicious cherry wheat. Hey, cheers to Mesa Coco. Happy birthday. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Yeah. Happy birthday, Mesa Coco. Um, wow. Holy shit. Okay, Diet Coke yeast is on the agenda now, I guess. Great. Or meat, excuse me. Put way more effort into his can. Because Boogie is a fucking piece of shit. Fuck Boogie, dude. Don't even get me started on Boogie. I can't fucking stand that asshole. It was my fault. I, I, I evoked his name, but, like, 
Two people have mispronounced Misa Coco's name. Literally everyone mispronounces it. A lot of people say Mesa Coco, like, a, you know, the geological formation. So I feel like pres preservatives and Diet Coke would keep it from fermenting. Make the Diet Coke mead. Yeah, of course. Boogie tweeted that his girlfriend is almost 21 and it made me sick. <sighs> yeah. Um, hello, big bro bot. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah, yippee, yippee. Diet Coke wouldn't ferment. Well, what about the rest of it? What about the rest of it, bro? I'm pretty sure they just gave him a script to read off. I don't think he's ever used Diet Coke in one of his concoctions. Um, I think it was just a joke. Sorry for not individually greeting all. I burned my hand, so I'm having trouble typing. How did you burn your hand, Mesa Coco? What's wrong? How, how, how'd how that happen? Now you have to try it and see. I don't really want to drink unless I'm like out with people or something, which happens like once or twice a year tops. Um, why? Because I'm trying to lose weight. I'm still on a weight loss journey. I've lost a lot, but I still need to stop. Like those twisted T's add up, brother. <laughs> those twisted T's will get you. You can't drink your calories. You know, I was getting like six packs of like the hard monsters. Those probably weren't great either. YouTube shorts actually do. No, King Cobra's done like fucked up me, just not with Diet Coke. We've watched a video of it. Keep burning my arms taking Stouffer's frozen lasagnas out of the oven. Damn. What about the Diet Cokes? What about them, bro? Dragon fruit Pepsi ferments. I've learned that firsthand. Are you trying to make like dragon fruit Pepsi mead? I'll greet if you can't. Hey chat, Misa Coco says hello. Yes, every I'll I'll give a I'll give the floor to Misa so everyone can say hi. When is the Tolo X King Cobra collab? That would be one of the most awkward encounters you could possibly like imagine. What would I say to King Cobra? Like, hypothetically, if you could get him to drop his, his rightfully earned paranoia of people trying to contact him on the internet, and you got two of us in the same room, what would I say to him? Like, hey, bro, how do you feel about Diet Coca-Cola? How do you feel about... I mean, if I really wanted to... I know he hates the movie Cuties with an absolute burning passion, like in a regular level of hate. It's normal to not like that. Don't get me wrong. But if you invoked the name of that movie, you could get him ranting for 30 minutes. And then you wouldn't really have to say anything. So you could do that. But that wouldn't be fun. You would want to have a meaningful conversation. But I don't know if you could. <laughs> I am not sure... He would be receptive to anything. Tell him you're a big fan, obviously. No, I wouldn't. Hello, Foxinator. Because I guarantee you, everyone who's tried to get one over him and manipulate him into doing some stupid shit always opens with the, hey, big fan here, bullshit. He could probably smell deception a mile away. Make fucked up food combinations with him. Yeah, I have no idea how you would handle that conversation. That would be genuinely really difficult. What does deception smell like? Um, probably durian. From what I understand, durian does not smell at all like uh, how it tastes. So it's deceptive by nature. Ask him what his favorite nacho recipe is. Yeah, I guess you, you can indulge him in food talk, but I've never... I don't know. Genuinely can't tell if you... No, I, I genuinely like him. I, I like him a lot. Um, I think he's great. I think he's fantastic. Um, I think he's done some fucked up things, but I think most of the things he's, he's done are really not that bad, especially when you consider that he's got mental disabilities. Um, I don't necessarily believe it's fair or right to hold people who are developmentally disabled to the same standards as everyone else. Like, don't get me wrong. He's not like diddling kids or anything like that but he's like the thing that i think of like the worst thing i'm aware of that he's done 
is he cheated on his girlfriend to like for like a cigarette or some shit with a pregnant woman. Now that's not great, obviously, but I don't know. Um, I have a hard time like holding that over someone someone who's like uh, really autistic's head forever, as well as as he puts it, a mild touch of schizophrenia. <laughs> Like, just, I don't, um, didn't he do animal abuse? I don't think so. It sounds like he's just kind of goofy, not like a total shitbag. He did fuck up with the lizard. I think he took it outside on it on his shoulder, expecting it to just chill, and it, like, jumped off and ran away. That was obviously very stupid, but I don't think it was like, yeah, I'm gonna fuck this lizard up. <laughs> Someone tells you they have mild schizophrenia, you know it's extreme schizophrenia? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Anyways. Talked about this guy a little too much. I'm gonna try- this is the- I'm gonna stop talking about King Cobra. I'm sure you're tired of hearing about him, but I wanted to lead up to that video because I thought that was very funny getting a, uh, Misa Coco shout out. Today, Chill is Art released a new game, or maybe it was yesterday, but we're going to play it today, obviously. It's about being on a bullet train. Chilla's has been on the upswing. His last few games have been pretty good, but I'm not convinced on the premise. I am having a hard time envisioning like a game taking place entirely on a bullet train and having it be compelling, but I will. we will have to see. King Cobra stuff, pretty interesting to hear about seeing not something I'd pay attention to otherwise. Hello, hey specs. Um, but yeah, we'll find out. Like Demon Slayer movie, Tolo has an open mind. I would like to think so. Um, not always. Like they're definitely my pet things that I'm very bullheaded about for sure. But I would like to consider myself reasonably open minded. Um, I just think that with people in that term people kind of play this like weird semantic shit where if you say you're you have an open mind that means you're just like one of those people who believes in whatever the last person talked to them about and like they don't form their own opinions um there like i said there are some things where i'll hear you out but you're not going to be like able to convince me of of many things <laughs> but i'll listen i'll consider it i'll roll it around in the head for a little bit seems like a step backwards for chilla to me but i hope they pull it out. yeah yeah like i said i'm not necessarily convinced on the premise but i'll i'll see how it goes total hear me out you see this is one of those things like you're not going to be able to like Pass the skill check to, to speech me into playing Destiny. That will literally never happen. Um, it's just not. It's not. You can be open-minded without anyone ever changing your mind. Yes, you can. But a lot of people don't view it that way. Which is unfortunate. Or maybe it's just a small minority of internet hecklers. Something about discourse in general that I never liked, which is the people flipping on issues seen as weak instead of going, oh, wow, you have a point. Yeah, I don't think there's any shame. And I think, honestly, if we're talking about green flags, um, going back to a conversation from like literal months ago, it is a very commendable thing to be able to change your opinion when confronted with opposing evidence. And it's really hard to do. Um, a lot of people you know, take the ostrich strategy and just stick their head in the sand. And I think it's important to change your mind when presented with new facts, new evidence. I'm narrow minded, I only want to hear about Booba and Ass Buna. There's not a valid check that can be made. Please try a different option. As long as you have a good reason for flipping on your opinions one eighty. Yeah, yeah. But the thing it's some people see like changing opinions as just like being a centrist fence sitter or pandering to one group of people and that those things do happen don't get me wrong but it's just you know people are people get kind of annoying with the discourse hello lululand what's up you changed your opinion okay chat what is something you have changed your opinion on recently you know let's let's 
I need to think of my my answer. I don't. I would have to think back probably a couple of months. Um, it's probably been a while, but I think I have changed my opinion on gay sex recently. Fanboys, Orange Juice, Dark Souls Two. Oh, I like RuneScape Three now. I used to be. I used to buy into the narrative the big media was pushing about it just being irredeemably dog shit and now i like it a lot i probably like it more than osrs now but that's not like a real answer i guess literally everything in therapy is changing my mind i think i've changed my opinion on anything in the last few months what's going on salamander um it's uncertain on any opinion stance changes oh i have one that is incendiary <laughs> like if we want to get into like an embrolio argument that that's going to get people heated i think uh i think i have one that i've changed this is going to be this is going to be something where you're gonna to have to let me elaborate on the entire idea and not like just have a knee-jerk reaction to the first sentence which is that therapy is a meme um i obviously don't really think that but i think that People have this idea that like therapy is a is suitable for everybody. Um, don't think that's the case. I think it, people have also pointed out that there's kind of a thing now where if you have like some sort of problem, people will just kind of hand wave it away and say, "Just go to therapy, asshole." Basically, to dismiss anything while seeming like they're taking the high road on their high horse. I think that's fucked up. Um, sometimes, you know, there's this idea that I think is fundamentally good in that you shouldn't blame others for your problems. In general, that's good advice, but I think we've kind of like veered too far off to the side where now it's like everything is your fault and you're like you got to go to therapy and you got to like medicate yourself and now you have to fucking do all of this shit it's never a point like sometimes you've just been let down by the people around you like that does happen i don't think it's necessarily the majority of the time right but sometimes you get fucked over by people in a variety of fun and exciting ways and it's kind of fucked up that, you know, it's just, I'm not great at articulating it, I guess, but it's, even outside of that, though, like, some people respond better to, like, medicine, like, medication, rather than therapy, so I guess just the general idea that therapy is a catch-all is something that maybe I was, I was more in line with, like, in the previous years but now i don't know hello cash Meyer. it's hard finding the right therapist too there's no cure for incels though those guys are doomed it's not that capitalism sucks to live in so you need to cope by meditating buying plants going to therapy and eating ice cream and crying self-care yeah yeah like the rugged individualism is nice in theory but it has pitfalls i definitely think that almost all of us probably have a significant problem in our lives that's not our fault, that is in fact caused by circumstance or someone else uh, fucking us over. But there have been times where, you know, I've kind of been like, oh, well, you know, what did I do to cause this to happen? Fuck it, nothing. <laughs> like, nothing. Nothing at all. Um, so I, I think in general, um, you shouldn't blame everyone for your problems, for sure. But there's a healthy medium. You're not, you shouldn't take everything as like a direct consequence of your own actions as well. Um, sometimes it's okay to admit that you have just been failed by the people around you, whether it's like friends or society in a greater perspective. Like not having a gigantic pee pee. <laughs> you just got a jelk, dude. You gotta jelk it. You gotta you gotta put like weights on your balls and stretch them out. I got so fucking pissed today because I woke up and took a piss and that shit shot out at like a fucking ninety degree angle to the right, and I got piss on the wall, 
and I was so fucking disappointed in myself. I felt like a literal child, but like it just fucking, why would you shoot that way? <laughs> why would you, why the fuck is this? I hate that in the double stream. That's just how dicks work for real. So I had to like fucking clean the wall because my wiener decided to like fire into the fucking crowd. Do not use the Tolomeo brand Jelkin kit. My penis is broken permanently after just two sessions. Man, oh man. It sure is tough being a guy, right, fellas? Dangers of not... Yeah, I... Like, 99% of the time, it's okay if I don't remove the penis from the balls. And if you're a person who doesn't know what that means, oftentimes in the morning when you wake up, they're kind of like stuck together a little bit. It's hard to explain. Like, you have to unstick your balls from your, like, your thigh, sometimes your penis. Um, <laughs> you know, 99% of the time, you don't really have to do that, and it'll aim in the expected direction. But then there's the 1%. There's the Misakoko of pissuations. I hate when my boys hang so low, they touch the water. These are stuck together in a lump. So the choking mechanism on Etsy, guaranteed results. Surprise piss splatoon session? Yeah. Yeah, it was fucked. Urethra malfunctions? Just go to therapy. God damn it. Hello, Theodore. Please don't include me in that. Hello, hmm. How are you? What a nice name. Oh, sorry. It's hmm, hmm. Hold your cock and balls at the same time to piss. No, but you unstick the wiener. Hello, Phil. From porn to pissing, everything we could ask for in a pre stream. What other subjects that are on the uh, everyone's mind that we need to talk about before we start the video game? Pre streams have been getting even longer lately. They've been averaging like an hour and a half for like the last month or so. Hello, Zundel. Thank you for the tier three resub of 95 months. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Arlie Dog, for the 18 month resub. I appreciate it. Oh, hello, uh, how do I pronounce this name? Jen Aru. Jen Aru, welcome to the stream. It's nice to meet you. Uh, welcome. Hope you enjoy it here. You ever had a random pain in your balls for no reason at all? Yeah, yeah, of course. Hello, Papa Dap. Discuss the morality of circumcising newborns. I am against the mutilation of... Uh, the the genitals of children. Like, if we're talking about protecting the kids, we need to stop circumcising them. This Twitch chat fucking sucks? Yeah, that's true, I guess. What's up, Jenna? How are you? Um, personally, I am mutilated. I don't like it. Fuck you, Mr. Kellogg's. Fuck Tony the Tiger. Fuck your Frosted Flakes. Fuck your Wheat Thins. Um... I guess in situations where an issue has presented itself, such as severe phimosis. I don't know if that's like a thing in newborns. Yeah, but the... I, I don't know, man. It's so barbaric. It's so fucking weird. I don't know why we're chopping up little kids. <laughs> My boyfriend had to get an adult circumcision because of skin cancer. That really sucks. But I don't think that everyone else should just, like, preemptively, like, have their their parts fucked up because something might happen later in life, right? Had those trad Christian parents? See, not really, dude. Like, that's the thing. Um, my parents were weird. They weren't, they weren't super religious. They made me go to church because I was homeschooled and they didn't want me to be, like, socially stunted to too much of a degree. I still was. But they're like, oh, well, you're not going and socializing with kids. You've got to go to church. Now, my dad ended up being really religious when he had a near-death experience. He took a 180 um, into, like, this super fundamentalist Christianity stuff, like giving a bunch of money to websites, um, talking about the end times kind of shit. But my mom took, like, every drug under under the fucking sun weird ass hippie not religious whatsoever was kind of like oh yeah i believe in god but like i don't really believe in christianity sort of stuff so it's not like i had super fundy parents growing up 
Just went to church camp because I needed to socialize. Websites are how Jesus came back. Socially stunted, cut off the skin. People seem to just default to circumcision no matter their religious affiliation. That's rough. No, church camp was actually really fun. Regular church kind of sucked, but church camp was not that bad. I'm not religious whatsoever, but, you know, it was basically just summer camp with, like, a one-and-a-half-hour worship session in the evening. Like, boo-hoo. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. Uh, thank you, Art Noodle, for the 70-month resub. I appreciate it. It varies. Like, there are some church camps where it's, like, the Raptor Jesus shit, but mine was very fun for the most part. Like, we had a we where you could play Super Smash Brothers. I literally had an intervention staged on me because they noticed that I had been playing it all day and they thought I hadn't eaten. But my secret was around noon, everyone would go out to do like volleyball or soccer or like hiking, some sort of like outdoor oriented bullshit. Me and like three other kids didn't. And while they were away, the lunch ladies put out, like, snacks for the outdoorsy people to have when they come back, such as Rice Krispie Treats, fruit roll-ups, fruit by the foot, like, the worst shit imaginable, gamer fuel. And that's when we ate. We fucking had first dibs and ate, like, 20 fruit roll-ups while everyone was out fucking playing soccer. So we were eating. I was eating. But, you know, it wasn't, like, actual food. I was eating, like, fucking Rice Krispie Treats. So they took me off Smash to play uh, Eat the Chicken Strips, which is a much worse game. Love eating fruit roll-ups in one bite. So I really did not mind church camp that much. The actual regular church was tough because it was a church that was also a private school. So I had, I made like two friends total in like the entire like years I went to church basically. Because like imagine the clicks of like a group of high schoolers, right? Like how hard that must be to get into as a socially stunted homeschool kid. That's already a difficult uh, task, but then you have like this religious layer added on top of it where it's a private like hoity-toity school um, with religion involved. It was impossible. Like nobody fucking liked me, dude. Like it was, ooh, it was rough. It was rough. Like you so much as said a bad word and you were fucking ostracized from some parts of the, the social groups. And I said a lot of bad words. I'm going to come out and say it. I love Hershey's vomit-filled slop with almonds. Hope it's catered by a King Cobra JFS. Hello, Soxo. Did it used to be able to eat a lot of the donuts? Yeah, yeah, they had the donuts. Um, that was really good, too. I like the donuts. But, like, my strategies for making friends at church was, like... So, we played dodgeball on Wednesday nights. And you would... It, they had this huge gym because, keep in mind, it's also a private school. So, they had a huge-ass gym. And... I was no good at dodgeball. I couldn't really compete against the, the more athletic kids. So to get my catharsis, I decided to attack non-participants. And the non-participants I would attack were exclusively women. So there would be like, I guess they weren't women. We were teenagers. But to me at the time, they were women. They were girls. Um, I would throw dodgeballs at girls just like talking to one another for no reason at all, just to like be spiteful, I guess. And it happened enough times that I got chased down by a gaggle of girls and they started throwing like dodgeballs at my nuts um, when I was cornered. So it didn't really pan out well, I would say, but I don't regret it at all. Thank you, Ashlyn, for the 69 month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. They were so into you. No, I really don't think they were. I don't think there was like a single, no, there was like one girl who I knew for a fact, but she wasn't really a church girl. She was like her own nightmare. That was the, the girl from the, my water place is on fire, like weird husband story. <laughs> That's, she, she liked me, but I don't, she, she was like, she was something other than human. Let me just put it that way. Like she was some sort of weird werewolf vampire hybrid or some shit. 
The fact that religious people don't stop and really think about the fact that they literally worship something because the book says so really astounds me, especially the old ones like my dad that are otherwise relatively... Okay, um, maybe, but there are a lot of things literally everybody takes for granted because we just know it to be true, right? Do you know precisely why, let's say... Um, you didn't figure out how germs worked or why the sky is blue and a variety of very mundane things that we take for granted. Um, I, I imagine a significant slice of the population does not do research into things like that, regardless of their uh, religiosity or lack thereof. Um, like Exactly. Like how's a fucking computer work? Uh, what, what really makes a TV work? Um, you know, like how many people know the detailed in internals of their car? So I don't think that's really fair because everyone kind of believes in things that they're not really faith based because science has explained how they work. But if you don't know the science and you haven't researched it, you're kind of just taking it on faith. Um the explanations out there, if you look for it, granted, but I'm saying the way that people believe those things is not necessarily consuming it in an educated way, right? Hello, Gray Sketch. You see what I'm saying? The more science you learn, the more you find out that we don't know. Just believe what you want to. My qualms with religion, but I think that's a strange point, personally. Um, especially when you've been indoctrinated growing up and it's just something that you you why would your parents lie to you about this you know i i couldn't really hold that against someone i thank you new wolf for the 63 month resub i appreciate it i forgot i agreed to house it for a family member and i feel like a massive dumbass did you miss the date creationism is a religious thing sure but i'm not i'm not certain why creationism is specific to like why I don't get how that relates to what I said, I suppose. As long as people aren't using it to control and hurt others, they should believe whatever feels right for them. It's a tough line to walk, right? Because on one hand, I think that a lot of religions have been very damning. Uh, and they have been very... They have had good influences on society as a whole. But there's been a lot of like just matter-of-fact bad things that have resulted from religion. But... I don't think religion's necessarily bad. I think organized religion's the problem. And I can't, I don't really feel like uh, people are lesser than I am because they believe in a God. Like, I'm not the kind of atheist that's like, oh, you believe in a magical sky daddy? You must be fucking stupid. <laughs> I, I really not like that, I promise. Um, uh, thank you, Shino Skiro, for the nine-month resub. Appreciate it. It's like if you are an atheist like I am and you want to be treated as like like your beliefs or, or lack that. Well, atheism is not a belief. It's a lack in a belief. You kind of have to respect people's uh, agency to believe in what they want to believe, even if it's not scientifically backed, provided they're not trying to force it on other people. Um. People do bad things in the name of anything. Religion is no different. Bad actors. No, I agree. I agree. You know, it was a common sentiment in like the teenage atheist community. Like, I wish religion would go away. So all of this, all of this conflict would go away. And it's like, dog, the people who are problematic religious people in the U.S. at least do not believe anything. They've never read the Bible. If you told them about 40 shekels of silver or like the she bears, you know, they'd give you the fluoride stare. They don't understand any of it. They probably don't even really believe it. It's more of like a community thing. And that's going to be... That's not something exclusive to religion, I guess. If you have people flocking to a damaging ideology, once again, trying to be careful, the damaging ideology being organized religion specifically, if you got rid of that ideology, it'll just be something different. Like, look at sports teams, for Christ's sakes. Like, look at sports teams, man. Like, it doesn't... Look at, like, how people who play Dark Souls... At, like, fucking... 
someone was talking to me earlier about like this fucking Elden Ring bingo and how people are losing their fucking minds and getting mad at each other and it's like this weird like drama bullshit over like Elden Ring bingo of all fucking things. It's gonna happen no matter what. Um, granted, the, the, the religion provides an easy framework for it, but, and yeah, I think that having like a personal, uh, religion, uh, even if it's Christian, even if it's an Abrahamic religion, like being personally spiritual can be very beneficial to people. It's not for me. I would I don't care about that at all. But like, if someone feels like having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ helps them deal with any of the things in their life. Like, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Um, it's, you know, I have my own weird shit. I have strange coping mechanisms too, right? It's really just the concept of worship in and of itself that weirds me out. Here's another thing too. That is also a fundamental human characteristic. Maybe not, it's not as performative as it is when you go to a church, but people worship other human beings all of the time. Look at like fanatics of say Elon Musk or any of these weird ass billionaires or, you know, really good sports players. It's a natural tendency to engage in the weird ass hero worship thing. So that's not even really exclusive to religion either. It's just a lot more, it's like pageantry with religion where you have to make a big deal of it, about it to show how pious you are. You have to virtue signal, <laughs> right? They would probably be really mad at me if I said that like religious people worshiping or virtue signaling, but it kind of is. Um, at least like the kind of uh, worship that we did in Baptist camp. Personal relationship with God, Christ is obscuring our own relationship with ourselves in my opinion. It places your own ability to support yourself on an external entity. Mm, maybe, but who cares? Um, people have like let's let's say you know that I buy into what you're saying 100. percent People have like maladaptive coping mechanisms that don't really harm anyone else. I don't think that I care enough to get on someone's case for that. You got to do the best you can with what you got. If for some people that answer is religion, I really don't care. Um. It just the line that needs to not be crossed is when they start trying to like legislate their their beliefs, regardless of whether it's a religious person or some other strange ass like secular belief. Everything one does is a symbol slash signal. How you dress, what you say, you, what you consume or recommend, it's all signal slash symbols. Worship's more about choosing what's deserving of your worship, but it's a subtle thing too. Like two of the most important immutable characteristics of a human being is that we're all tribalistic animals and we all engage in hero worship to some degree the way in which it manifests varies but i like look at how people talk about celebrities for example like this entire shit with kate what's her name um how people have just been obsessed or how i i guess my my hero worship is king cobra jfs like that's my idol that i worship right <laughs> it, it's just you know, bro, what? I am ashamed of the pillar I put our beloved cryotic monkey on in teenhood due to trying to come out of my own shell in a sense of confidence. What a wake up call. I mean, that's not really your fault. Um, it's, it's victim blaming, right? Like if you get, if you get, uh, taken in by a huckster, it's not really fair to blame you. Especially if you're a child. Hello, Sniper Knight. Mythical creatures like Himiko. Okay. We could probably stop talking about this. Now, you guys want me to play the Chillas game now, right? You worship him? Well, I don't necessarily mean worship in a literal sense. Um, looking up to someone, if you really want to think about it, if it's an intense enough feeling can be considered hero worship, in my opinion. Um... Not always. Idolize? Well, I think it's the same thing. Like I said, it manifests differently in certain situations. Like, being super addicted to, like, celebrity gossip and, like, standing a musician is not the same as going to church and singing into Marvelous Light, I Am Running. But I think both of those things stem from the same human tendency. 
Some people have alters when the obsession is crazy enough. That's true. That's true. As a Cobra Shine with 15 of his wands. I don't even have one of his wands. Heard of a game called Voices of the Void? I have, but I think that one's been picked apart by other people. So I'm not certain it's something I should look into. Any VTuber alter havers? I think it would be like you. Looking up to someone is okay as long as you're not doing that weird thing where you're acting like that person's your actual friend. Yeah, I mean, that's... I don't think either hero worship or tribalism has to inherently be a bad thing. Tribalism is how we got to this point to begin with. It was like our our ability to cooperate and have a tribe and have each other's backs, I guess, is like the only reason we made it to this, you know, technological era. It just, it's not all good. It manifests in gross ways. And I think the only way to get rid of all the negative effects of it is you have to, like, convince people that the tribe is all of humanity instead of like white people or black people or gay people or whatever group uh, thank you ash for the 25 month resub i appreciate it thank you or just return to monkey yeah or just return to monkey but i don't think that's possible because even if you have people who are like ostensibly you know trying to not be uh discriminatory towards any minority they'll be tribalistic in smaller weirder ways i don't have to include the liberals right seeing earth from space probably does that jenna is my favorite lesbian i feel like it's weird to have a favorite lesbian maybe it's just me though we are 6.7 million years beyond monkey unfortunately monkeys are literally tribalistic as fuck example chimps you're my favorite hetero tolo. That's kind of weird. TV show about naked people surviving for like three weeks on random places made me realize I don't want to... Yeah, it, I think most people don't want to return to Monkey. I kind of like modernity. I like, you know, having a fucking computer. I like having an air conditioner. I like being able to sit here and talk about completely inconsequential bullshit to people who humor me like I'm a crazy old racist uncle at Thanksgiving dinner. Um... I like these things a lot. I I quite enjoy the modern age. <laughs> I don't think I would fare very well in a more primitive society. Like, what would Tolomeo do if we were a monkey? Like, what would my role in the primitive tribe be? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't know. I wouldn't trade hot Cheetos for anything. Monkey priest, maybe the shaman, like, give me drugs and I'll just be like, oh, these rocks say that you are the big gay. I do not enjoy being mauled. I rode one of these in Japan. Alright, I'm gonna go get some refreshments and then we're gonna play this game, okay? Lookout security, I guess I, I do tend to be nocturnal, so maybe I could be the weird freak who makes strange noises to alert everyone. Uh to danger at night. Oh, all right. Be right back. Refreshments. I need my unsweetened tea. I need a refill and I need a diet coke. And I need to piss.
gnome today to see if it still feels. Why would you do that? I have a hard time hearing Otter. It's because I'm trying to talk quietly um, because I snuck in here. <laughs> Autumn would be an animal tamer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. The secret otter segment. How's the wolf pack? Uh oh, he's coming. Oh. Hello. What's up? Why are you like naked in my room, dude? I. Not. Nah, I just got out of the shower. Anyways. Um, that was the gayest thing I've ever said. Like, what man is like asking his wife that question? Oh. I have a towel on. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. Much. Oh, okay. Ow. Oh, fuck. Yo, check this. All right. How loud is the background noise? Can you hear the the pleasant rumbling of a train? Sorry. Were you? Did I interrupt something? No, I was just. Saying a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> okay, there's an easy mode for the train game. Yes. That's what's up. It's kind of loud. All right, let me turn it down a touch. Okay. Easy mode for the train game. Is this game going to be completely fucked? It's going to be like getting over it train mode. Okay. I don't like this picture. Like, I feel like I've never seen, like, an old Asian lady with hair like that. I think it's a wig. I think I... I think I... I think she's trying to fucking scam me. I think this bitch is a liar. I'm not gonna subscribe to whatever the fuck service this company's offering me. Hello, Sozoy. I don't believe you. I thought you looked like Weird Al. That doesn't look like Weird Al to me. Hello, Potion Yeller. Oh, God, I need to turn the sensitivity down. This is a little too fucking high. Okay, that's better. See enough old Asian ladies? Yeah, I guess so. Um, bootleg exit 8. It's on a train. I don't know if it's going to be the same thing. Do you have any white hairs yet? Not really. Hello, Becky. Dude, I need to turn the AC on. I'm sorry. It's getting hot in here. You need to widen your horizons? I think my horizons are plenty wide, dude. Okay, I'm just gonna follow the arrows. Turn back- Oh no, it is actually exact- Oh god. Okay. So you meant that literally. It is actually like, turn back if there's an anomaly. Fuck. Okay. I really sucked at the last one of these I played, so we are gonna be playing for a good while. Oh god, okay, so every one of these has, like, the towel. There's three on the left, two on the right. Um, I need to take consideration of a few things. What if you get bad end on purpose first? I don't think I'm gonna have to do it on purpose, don't worry. This guy looks normal, right? Like, his shoes are kind of weird, but... Oh, fuck. Hello, Schrodinger's hamster. I need to... If I see any weird anime bimbos, I need to pay extra close attention to their eyes. Alright, there's two children here. On row four, D and E. Okay. Alright. Alright. Only be able to demonstrate... No, I, I need chat's help for this shit, honestly. I'm not very good at it either. That's why playing observation duty is kind of fun, because... Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh, can you guys still hear me? It appears we have a game freeze. Is my shit fucked? Okay. Well, that's not a great start. It's been a while since a game has just outright froze. 
Okay, so let's try that again. Does that count as an anomaly? I, I don't know, maybe. I watched your Signalis VODs. Holy shit, the ring puzzle. Also, it's too bad you didn't get into the shit posting the community has. I don't even remember the ring puzzle. Did I do really bad on that one? Probably. Wait, what do you... Oh, normal car. So, there's like the not normal car and the extra not normal car. I retained like very little from Signalis. I don't remember much about it at all, honestly. Just bits and pieces. Not like the puzzles, at least. I remember the general overarching themes and stuff, but fuzzy on the details. Okay. Hey, buddy. Wish me luck on this hard casket. GL, dude. Stroke of genius, Schiller's Art decided to implement real life anomalies. I can't wait for the one where a gnome shows up in the corner of your house. Alright, looking for anomalies. I think, uh, uh oh. Well. Okay. That's the second time. Alright. Chilla dog, what the hell? Is this Dragon's Dogma 2? I don't think so. Hold on. I have to go into Task Manager to close this. Update GPU driver, lower the set graphic settings, screen resolution, update Windows OS. You think anyone's ever done that? Like, oh shit, I'm having trouble with the Chillas game. I should take this opportunity to upgrade to, like, Windows 11. <laughs> what do you mean, update Windows? Come on. Hello, Vincent. I guess maybe, like, the they mean the automatic updates, but... This, uh... Okay, let's do... Let's go to 1080p. It's going to be hard for me to see. Let's do... Let's not do full screen. I feel like that will fix it. Just trying to help. No, I know, I know, I know. I'm not... I'm not shooting the messenger. I'm just saying it's a funny recommendation. Oh. Okay. I think I fucked it up. I'm pretty sure we were on 7 and we remained in 7. So let's look for some anomalies. Maybe V-Sync to cap the frame rate. You know what? That's a brilliant idea. Maybe the 240 FPS thing is not a, a non-starter for the Chilla's art experience. Hold on. Everything's going to be so gross with that refresh rate, though. Hello, Vincent. Sorry, I sound like a PC gaming elitist. I'm not, I swear. I... Okay. I am trying to not be annoying and complain, but I, I hate this thing Windows does where I used to be able to type display in the fucking bar and it would give me what I needed and now it's like wanting to duplicate or extend to a connected display... What the fuck does that mean? No, I just want to get to the display thing. Like, why are you always moving shit, Bill Gate? How the fuck do I get to display settings now? Okay, I have to go all the way to settings and then system and then display. Alright, I can do that. I really wish I could just type in display, though. That would be a lot easier. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right right click on your desktop too oh okay but that's the thing though like why not just like type display i, I don't like things changing i'm change averse let's see if we can get this to not crash this time 
I haven't even gotten the opportunity to look for fucking anomalies. Because it keeps freezing on me. Are we good? Are we good? I think this is the farthest I've gotten, so I think we're okay. Alright. It's the... It's gonna be difficult. I need to start, like, actually taking it all in. Display works for me. Maybe a bug on your end? I don't think so. Crash is technically an anomaly. Be a strange bug. They used to move, like, all of the sound settings around, too. Like, I know for a fact Windows just fucks with me, personally. Uh, okay. まだあったね。あ、お兄さんもゲームをしに来たの。ヘロインクマンサー。僕めっちゃ楽しみ。I'm no, you don't. Okay. Yes. Okay. Could you please tell this kid his hoodie is stiff? It's... Dude, he's like five years old. Like, leave him alone. Not in the bathroom? No. Because if you were doing anomalies in the bathroom, you'd be a sex offender, right? And that's just not good. Okay, do I see any anomalies? This sounds easy. I don't think it's going to be easy. Anomaly, it is darker. Okay, that's an anomaly. Yes, it is, pop it up. It's, uh, like, Exit 8, I think that one was called. You allowed to help? Yes. Within reason. Okay, this seems like, like it's shiny as fuck. Is that an anomaly? Or is it just, like, the, the adjustment of the light changing? I think Japanese culture? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they... Wait. Oh. Uh, thank you, Satu, for the raid. I appreciate it. What's up, dude? I... I don't see anything, so I'm just gonna say fuck it. Get the posters. Yeah, there's a kitty cot, and then there's the yellow one. We're on five now. Where did the kid go? Oh, I was I was slaying, dude. It crashed this time. It gave me a Unity error. Chillas, what the fuck is this shit? God damn it. Okay. Well, it's a little bit of an issue. Wee bit of a problem. That's three crashes in a row. Unity is hard to code for. None of his other games have had this problem. Maybe I really do need to update my NVIDIA graphics drivers. I don't know if that's a good idea to do while I'm streaming. Huh. Well. What the fuck do I do now? Try running it in admin? I, I guess I could. Let me find it in the folder. That sucks. You gotta restart PC after driver update. No, that's just an urban legend, bro. Okay. Go to common. Let's do... What is this game called? The Shinken San Zero? Okay. 
upgrade your specs? I'm not sure that's the problem. You know, my computer isn't like cutting edge modern anymore, but it's not, it's not dog shit either. And I'm tired of people saying like, oh, everyone has supercomputers now, so let's just not optimize our games and make it a, a complete fucking nightmare with a million memory leaks. Some bullshit. Okay, now it's not wanting to capture, so... Never a dull moment, am I right, chat? It's fucking cursed. It's a haunted Chilla's art game. Do a backflip or something might work, never know. Extracting the game? Oh no, it's from Steam. It's not it's not like that at all. It's the first Chillers game that does this? Yeah, I've never had an issue with one of their games before. Maybe if I actually get out of the menu and go into the game it'll capture. Okay. Let's try a different scene. When OBS is like this particular problem right now is not the game. This is OBS being a diva. It does this sometimes. Just gotta figure it out. Damn. Okay, well, this is this is good. Pretty good stream. Review say anything? Let me see. Very positive 94, so it seems like I'm gonna be in the minority. Um No, no one's actually complaining about these uh, these sorts of issues. So maybe I'm maybe I do need to upgrade my Nvidia Extreme Graphics drivers. Let me see. Maybe turn the graphics to just high. That was one of the suggestions. Do like the file repair thing. Yeah, let me try restarting it. I'm I'm convinced I can get it to work. I am personally of the opinion that this doesn't seem like something you would need to update anything for. This just seems like the game is, uh, you know, you know, okay, we got an OBS again. All right, this time it's going to work. Okay. I, I have faith. I have faith. I have faith. I think we're gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna win now. I'm just so confident that I'm gonna dominate this game in a sexual fashion that I had to manufacture drama to make it last a little longer. It's just like sex. Uh, thank you, Dreams, for the 13 month resub. I appreciate it. How are you, dude? The sliding text said Skinkamarink. I don't think they have Skinkamarinks in Japan. Thank you, Pirate Idealist, for gifting a sub to Theodore Hold. Thank you very much. Just got a couple burgies. Fuck yeah, dude. Okay. How? I don't see... Oh, no. Are you going to talk to me, you little freak? An airplane? No, it's a Shinkansen. Which is like a Japanese, like, penis-shaped train. Like a bullet train. They go really fast. That's why they're called bullet trains. Okay. Alright, let's get into it. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. Alright, I don't see any anomalies. Um, you know, I'm squinting really hard. I'm not, I'm not seeing anything, brother. I, now I can't, dude, having to turn the graphics down for a spot the difference game is gonna fuck with me is like, is it a graphical pitfall or is, like, his hair an anomaly? Shit. Well, god damn it. Okay, we're playing on hard mode now. Like the woman in the poster. Sometimes you have to, like, if it's like Exit 8, you have to loiter around for something to happen, too. Alright, I... No anomalies, final answer. Shit! 
There was an anomaly. Okay. See, sometimes when you walk in, there's that bright flash of light. I don't know if that's meaningful at all. Maybe you should pay more attention to the windows. Tolo IRL Japan trip when? That would be a fucking disaster. Can you imagine Tolomio goes to the Neko Mimi Cafe? Christ. I'll go if Joe goes with me. Like, that would be a fun s stream. Like, the entire goal is to get Joe a wife in Japan. Can I do it? It'll be the hardest challenge run yet. Gotta be the ultimate wingman. I love Japanese. I mean, I like ramen and sushi. But literally everybody does. Okay. Okay, there was no anomaly there. The cat looks normal. His eyes look normal. What if one or two characters change on the posters? Usually they're not that... Wait, wait, wait. That looks like a fucking anomaly to me. Okay. Good morning, Mr. Chicken. No, maybe it's just Kimiko. Oh, hi, you desune! Ichiban! He, he looks the same. I don't know, Sushi. I've been trying to figure that out, too. Hello, Aetherius. You're... Oh! Okay. I think if someone did this to me, I would step on their hand. Wow, that's fucking weird. Can you see him? No, he doesn't... He doesn't have an ass. It's the assless man. We're gonna call him Chaps for short. Okay, so we gotta really, really be slow. We gotta be deliberate, because I could have maybe just walked a little too fast and missed that guy. Why so submissive like that? Okay. Check the posters. The cat looks normal. Oh, God. Were all of these here? Okay. So, we're gonna go slowly. We're just gonna... He looks normal. His shoes are on. His hair's whack. His briefcase is whack. Like, if that dude starts showing up with Supremes, that's when we know we have an anomaly. We have a real problem on our hands. They probably don't call it Supremes, huh? And tell I'm not a hype beast. What's going on, C-Dobbs? I'm playing a spot the difference game in a, in a bullet train right now. Fuck. Oh my god. I don't know if this was there. I don't... I feel like I would have... Hold on. I could have easily fucking missed that, but I don't... I'm gonna have to go with no. I'm gonna have to go with no. That seems like the perfect thing to make you think, Oh, fuck, was that there? It was. It was. I fucking... I'm back on seven now. I fucked it. And I fucked myself. It's like fucking up while you're edging and then you ejaculate with no organism and you just eat shit. You feel like a f You can't even masturbate right. Stupid piece of shit. Worst feeling on God's green earth. Okay. I don't see an anomaly. 
Okay, I was right. I was right. Holy shit. I a bruise on my ribs. I have no idea where it's from. Probably Banjo last night fucking hitting the gritty on the bed. That would be my guess. Back when I was on meds and coming green, I still don't believe that's real. I think you're lying to me. Coming green. Okay. Well. I'm not seeing much. Honestly, if you think about it, one of the hardest routes one of these games could have is just no anomalies the whole way through. Because if you get like four in a row without anomalies, you're going to start being like, hey, okay. All right. I don't think there's anything. All right, I was right. Now it's five. Okay. We got this, right? You guys all believe in me, right? What if it's something fucked? Like one of these towels on the chair is missing. Same shoes, same whack-ass briefcase. Oh. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Autumn, when I drop a diet coke in the downstairs. Shit, there's no cold ones left. God damn it. It would have been the funniest thing imaginable if it, he coded it to where if you were sitting there gawking at her, if she threw the can at you and you died. I would shit myself laughing if something like that happened. Okay, this is an anomaly already. The signs here are switched. Okay, so we're on three. I wonder if this is going to be like exit eight in the sense of the anomalies don't repeat. Like once you've seen them, you don't repeat and you get fucked on like uh like I did where there was literally one anomaly left and I could not figure it out for like an hour because it was the poster with the eyes. That was a low light for sure, but it was pretty funny. Eyes Chan, yeah, that's stupid bitch. Okay, well... I'm not seeing anything particularly anomalous right now, Pegasisters. Okay, stop throwing bricks, dude. Holy shit, you're gonna hurt me. Alright, two. There was no anomaly. Where, kid? He left after the first interaction. Dude, I might be able to get Whataburger early tonight. Say it, don't spray it. But now, I'm gonna be super fucking paranoid. I'm gonna be second guessing myself so hard on this shit. You have a backup game, right? No. I expect Chillas to be like the entire. The entire course. 
all of the courses. I will fuck up. Don't worry. There's no way I'm going to beat it. I am Michael Jackson. Holy shit, what the fuck are you? Jesus Christ, it reminds me of Sushi Fish. Okay, well, I think it's safe to say this is an anomaly. Holy fuck, okay. It was always... No, no, it wasn't. Shut up. Okay, we're on one. We're on one, dude. It's a 50-50. It's a 50-50. Um, this guy's skill is insane. Yeah, you know it, man. Mm. Are there going to be any more, like, people who are, like, fused to the seat? It's done with the normal car. Yeah, then there's the not normal car. This one's already got people in, like, some rather strange positions. So I'm curious if this is a normal car. <sighs> Nothing looks off to me. But, like... Hello, Sable. What's up? Just gonna go back, make sure there's no, like, missing headrest thingies. You know what would be really fucking funny? You know what I'm thinking right now, right? You know what I'm thinking right now, right? What if, like, this dude could just randomly pitch a tent and have a boner and that was an anomaly? Is that briefcase there? Yes, I said that earlier. My mistake. Stealing my yell. You know, people can, like, have convergent lines of thought, you know? You're not allowed to think the same? Wait, were his shoes black? Okay. God damn it. Okay, there was in fact an anomaly there. I don't know what it was. Uh, but it was there. Okay, so we're back to seven. It went tits up, brothers. Damn, what the fuck was it then? I didn't see it at all. It was probably, you know, I need to, like, read the text. It was probably saying, like, headed to hell. This is, this, or, or some bullshit like that. This is the seat numbers. That would be completely fucked, but that would make sense. Gotta sit there and fucking count all of it every time. There's a spelling error? Okay, you're trolling now. Alright, there's literally zero chance that there's an anomaly here, right? I knew it. Okay. I'm headed to Tokyo. This is, okay. I think as long as it starts with this is 20, 19, 18. Okay, we gotta do some epic counting right now. Just make sure all of the, the ducks are in a row. Um, fellas, does a woman count as an anomaly? Okay, 
20, 19, 18, 17, 16. Oh, there's our friend. Okay, so they can repeat. It's not like the other one where once you encounter something, it's, uh, that's just like the one time you see it. Okay, we're on four again. I'm feeling confident about this one. I'm really disappointed that I haven't seen anything going on with this guy yet, though. One Piece, Jenner. Uh-oh. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like this. How fucked would it be if that wasn't an anomaly and they were just passing through a tunnel? And there was, like, a map where you have to, like, determine that, like, every, like, five minutes or so, you know, you go through a tunnel or some bullshit. Because you could make a game like this just absurdly fucked. Like, if you really wanted to, you could, you could have, like, little changes in this baggage area post or, like, a small typo. What I would do if I had one of these games, it would be like, uh, imagine if there was a page that normally said I couldn't care less, but sometimes the anomaly would be I could care less. And you had to expect people to figure that out. A lot of people would get hardwalled by that, I think. I need to make one of these games. It would be really good. I think everyone would like it. I'm not I'm not sure, brothers. Okay. I think I'm I I haven't noticed anything. What happened to the kid? He's only there at the very start to tell you the rules. He doesn't usually stay anywhere. Oh my god. Okay. The guy's tie always white. Well, I guess we're going to find out cuz I fucked this one up. He had a tie, huh? Okay, well, that would explain it. I'm gonna tie my dick to the fucking staple gun. I told you, I'm... This seems different. Like, it's, it's in a tunnel. You can't normally see it, right? I'm going to I'm going to assume that that's an anomaly. That's a fucked up anomaly. You can see outside. Okay. God, what is your problem? Uh-oh. Cat on that poster is so nice. He is kind of nice. We have it does it's not like a Scottish fold like this, but we have this orange cat my sister keeps feeding that shows up in our front lawn sometimes and he just walks up to you and lets you pet him. He's very friendly. Very fat.
me some shit where he's in a different seat. I think he's in... Yeah, he's in 16. A real chungus. Orange cats are a crazy breed. All of the ones I've met have been, like, very friendly and relaxed. Autumn has one named Charlie, who I call Charles Entertainment Cheese for short. And he's just, like, the sweetest dude. He just, like, fucking wants to be pet and snuggles with you. He's not crazy. He's not bombastic. Just, just a snuggle bug. I'm personally... Uh, I'm gonna say something. I want to establish that I am not talking about people or anything other than cats. Um, but black cats seem to be the ones who have, like, the biggest crazy streak. In my experience. I think it's good here. Is that suitcase a different color? Source, we have a black cat. She's very, um... She's interesting. Very sweet. Very interesting, too. Harp's orange cat is not... Alright, Brunerth, I know you love Harp. I know she's your lady. But if I was a betting man, I would say it has less to do with the cat being orange and more to do with the fact that it's Harp's cat. I'm just saying, brother. Okay, we're on number five now. We're winning. They do say that pets have a tendency to take after their owners. Tuxedo's perfectly fine, though. Maybe you're his role model. I'm waiting for there to be an anomaly where, like, some little fucking goblin crawls out from under the seats and starts just jacking off. But, like, really loud. It would be funny if she had, like... Have you... Okay, hold on. Anomaly suggestion. Like, I don't think the dev will ever watch my stream, but I have a suggestion for a really fucking good anomaly right now. Um... It would be subtle. It wouldn't be something that a lot of people would immediately notice. I think, uh, you know, a lot of people would appreciate it. Now, hear me out on this, okay? Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Give her the Evangelion sneakers. <laughs> give her give her some kicks give her something like a subtle change in footwear i think it would be really good you should listen to me for ideas i have some really good ones there's no anomaly in here there was an anomaly in there fuck it's happening again, brothers. I'm stuck in the loop. Chair person was... Was he? Did I miss the fucking chair freak? God damn it. Oh, this guy's here. Okay, so I love that guy. I love, uh, I love... Love that chat. Okay. I was speed running this shit. Easy baby. This dude looks the same as he always does. I think. Hello, Damiaz. It's not your fault. He blends in really well. I feel like it is my fault. I should be alert. When I'm at the end, I should always take like a longing glance backwards. And then you, he'll be he'll be like right over here somewhere, and it'll be abundantly clear. Hmm. 
he had socks on before. I'm pretty sure you're lying to me. I remember that he, he didn't look like he had socks on. Shit, did he? Did he? Was the doctor poster always there? The one with the woman? This one? Or this? Oh. Shit. I don't know. I thank you, Vainglorious, for the four year resub. I appreciate it. Okay. So that doctor poster was, in fact, always there. There was no anomaly in that one. Okay, okay. We're, we're, like, so close to victory right now. I can taste it in my loins. Did he always have that fucking button? Oh my god, I'm gonna punch myself in the testicles. But thank you, Illrath, for the 50-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. See, this, these games have a way of making you second-guess yourself, because you're trying to keep track of, like, dozens of points of minutia. And then it's like, oh. Was this a fucking thing? Like, with that suitcase earlier. Mm. Hope the can woman comes back. This is Shinkansen Zero headed toward Tokyo. Okay. I I don't think I've seen anything. Part of me wants to ask chat for their opinion, but I also don't want to get carried by chat. I think whatever it is, if there is an anomaly, it's not outstandingly obvious. 15, 16, gotta check the numbers. This should be the last thing I need to do. Hello, very important pizza. What's up, dude? Eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one. I think we're good. Got home from work. My back feels like shit. Maybe sushi will give you a back rub. Okay, there is no anomaly. I really like these games. An observation duty. Every once in a while, at least. I feel like this would be a difficult thing to play a ton of in a row, because you would start, like, feeling fucking crazy. Every once in a while. Announcement moves faster. Chicken strip, I think you're on drugs. I don't know what to tell ya. I feel like they would only use the t the scrolling text speed as an anomaly if it was, like, markedly different. Like, scrolling five times a second or just, like, not scrolling at all. Oh, God. What if I have to look in these little things for, like, the air mall magazines that you read when you're trying to fucking pass time on the airplane? You ever done that? Just look at the stupid shit they try to sell you in those dumb fuck magazines. <laughs> I've spent so many hours on planes looking at that shit and like rereading like the little fucking safety menu, whatever the fuck else they have because I'm just bored to tears on the flight. It's half the fun. I think we might have a differing definition as to what constitutes fun. do the puzzles in them sometimes. The puzzles sound fine. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. A 
another normal one very sus it looks really normal to me see letters always red on one side oh god no i don't think they were actually i think you're right yeah i'm pretty sure yeah i'm fairly confident you're right now that you point it out oh yeah, and they do spell death, too. That's that's another thing. I'm just focusing on the color because I'm white and I'm naturally racist. I didn't even see what they were trying to say. I was so fixated on the color. Vote for me into Congress. I'll be a new Texas representative. 2024. Good catch. Oh, no, no, I said Congress. Dude, you imagine how fucked it would be if I was the president. Can you fucking imagine, like, listening to a State of the Union from me? Hey, guys, uh, you know, you're never gonna believe what King Cobra did last night. <laughs> Funniest shit I've ever seen. Can you believe that he made a sequel to Mush Mountain Nachos? Holy shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> wow. That guy is, uh, I think I might, you know, uh... Unilaterally add him as a new cabinet appointee. I think, uh, think I like his style. I think he might be what America needs. Is there a bingo in the next speech, sir, president? <laughs> Does this count as cop doesn't do shit if there are no protesters? King Cobra is the median American voter. I'm not... I'm not seeing any differences, guys. Shit. Okay. My friend who watched your stream told a respect to your taste of video choice. You should have seen the one we played earlier. It was even better. Okay, number two. Number two. We're winning so fucking hard right now. It's unhabibable. I feel like this is going to be one where it's like a really obvious anomaly, like the lights going out or something. We haven't really had one of those this run. No anomaly? No. Woman alert. Woman alert. Estrogen detected. Time to leave. Alright, we're on one now. I feel like if there's an anomaly on one, it's always going to be, like, horribly obtuse to see because it's like the finale right they're not going to give you some stupid obvious one let me read the text did i did i see it okay those signs appear to be all in order goatsy wait dodec like he's like a dodeca goatsy holy shit okay I take I, I rescind my previous statement. Oh, this is actually the last one. Okay. There's one more challenge. Will we be able to rise to the occasion or will we flounder like a silly fish? 
Didn't end at one yet. Train car zero. Is that in and of itself an anomaly? What would you do in that situation? Oh God. Always been three letters on one side and two on the other side. Yeah, cause it's three seats and two seats. Say some shit about level zero. Yeah, you gotta go and pull the thing. It's possible you just go in and win. But he could be trying to trap you. He could be trying to trick you. Wait, I'm not doing shit, don't worry. I don't trust it. It's 50-50. The numbers? I, I haven't noticed anything wrong with the numbers. He's still in 16. Did it skip 6? No. The carpet is glitchy. What carpet, playa? This fucking thing? Shit, I wish I had like a lifeline and I could call up like Farm Pig. Okay. Okay. What if it's like... Her cup size is different. I don't believe you. Follow your heart. Um, you know... Doom 3, baby. I ain't seeing shit. Misa Coco Erm. Nice emote player. Jenna, she's a child? Yeah. Jenna's like, I'm not a mod anymore. Now, you know what? Hold on. I need to... I don't think you're ever getting your other account back, so I, I should probably mod your new one, huh? Alright. I don't think I see anything... If you lose this one, you make it up by showing us one King Cobra video. Okay. Deal. The conductor's room. Is this gonna have a fucking anomaly? This is- this guy's a motherfucker. It's like you get to one and you're like, yeah, I'm almost done. Then zero, and then the conductor's room. So you go to the conductor's room if there's an anomaly? What an asshole. Okay, what does this say? Engine room next. Yeah, and then you get on the train tracks. Was that banjo? Was what banjo? There was- WHAT THE FUCK?! COME ON! We have stopped momentarily due to an injury. That actually scared the shit out of me. Okay. Attention, please. We have stopped momentarily due to an injury. There is no plan for the train to stop at this moment. Please excuse the delay. All right. 
Good news, everybody. That was just the first fucking one. Now we have to do... That was called the blue car, I guess. This is really weird. Why are we like... Hey! Yeah. Oh my god, it's opposite. Okay, so now it's if it's like the opposite of fucking stoplights. Red is go ahead. Green is go the fuck back. I, I don't know. I'm gonna get confused. You make three mistakes and the ghost will get you. Can we lock this little fucker in and, like, give him a swirly? Fuck you, dude. Piece of shit. What's up, kid? Okay. I don't want the ghost to get me. It's different, too. So we have to learn new stuff. Alright, there are no posters on this side. There's two on each. A little more. Yo, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Okay, there's... Will one of the anomalies be her watching, like, Amaranth or something? That would be pretty fucking funny. Alright, that for sure has to be an anomaly, right? That seems rather anomalous to me. Just a normal dude. Okay, so there's a woman on her computer. There's a stewardess who stops at the door over here. The woman with the computer is... An in 16. There's an old man trying to get his luggage. He's got like a monk haircut, wearing gray, gray jeans, gray coat. So there was a no an anomaly, so we go forward. It didn't say Okay, okay. I wasn't sure because the little kid didn't mention if there were anomalies in the bathroom or not. So I was confused until this sign. See you staring at them wrinkles? Yeah, the back of a man's head is one of the sexiest parts, I think. That's why Hellbund is so appealing. You can just see his. Okay. I was wrong. All right. So, I'm guessing Green Eye Sans Lady is just the ghost that kills me and she's supposed to be there. There are no signs here. Is this different? What would, like, obviously anomalous food look like? Two until ghost? Well, we're 100% fucked. Holy shit, okay. There's an anomaly, we go forward. Alright, winning. Okay, number six. No signs. Uh, thank you, Max, is already taken for the 57 months. I appreciate it. Thank you, dude. Her stuff looks normal as far as I can see. Mm. 
Green Eye Guy is always here. This is this must be the ghost woman, is my theory. Cause she kind of, I don't know. She's she's a little androgynous. I could see it being either a man or a woman. Just imagine if that tray had the JFS wing food hack. That would be really good. Okay, his fit looks normal. He's like, yeah. Oh, look at Chen. Yeah. Doing the little cat claw thing. All right. I'm not seeing shit. Hair is whack, his fit is whack. His nonverbal communication, you guessed it. Whack. Is this an anomaly? I don't think I see anything. Alright, send it. I don't see shit, let's go back. All right, we're on five. Oh, I need to look at this. Okay. Mm, all righty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh huh. Yeah. I wonder if like the number of desktop icons is gonna be a consideration at all. I think it's always been three. Food cart looks the same. Has she always had the red thing? Fuck. Pretty sure she has. If you think about it, this is kind of like Gothic King Cobra. None of the anomalies have been that detailed. I'm gonna say that every single time I pass that guy, so you better be praying for my success. Also, speaking of success, Oak Tree, have you joined the guild yet? Let me get on that RuneScape 3 shit, brother. Nar, you, dude, message Sushi or me whenever, and we'll get you in that shit. It's the best guild ever. We have, like, extraordinarily compelling conversations every single day. Are you guys seeing anything? Because I think, uh... I think it looks normal. I think it looks normal to me. I'm not noticing anything out of the ordinary here. Is the game any good? Yeah, it's fine. Now that it stopped crashing. Imagine you're not playing RuneScape 3. But I have to be distrustful of my chat, because they could be saboteurs. Alright, but I don't see shit. Oh, hold on. I gotta, like, itch my nuts really quick. Hold up. Thank you, Blue Hat, for the 57 months. I appreciate it. Alright, we're on four. We're on four. Uh, thank you, the Mar, for the 56 month resub. I appreciate it. Pop it up. Why are you making that face? Need a hand, brother? Oh, no, thank you. I feel like it would kind of suck if you beat one of these on the first try because you wouldn't be able to see the anomalies. I don't think I will. But I also don't really want to see, like, the ghost yell at me. I'm scared. Let 
go now. Ooh. What's up, player? Alrighty. Love you. Do you see uh see anything out of the ordinary here, sweetheart? See anything fucked? Look at that old man. See, doesn't he hold his hand like a Neko Sugar Girl? So now Parkinson's is an anomaly? That's kind of ableist. <laughs> God damn. Wait, what's that? What? That person! Oh, that's the ghost lady who's presumably going to oh, kill yeah. us when we fuck up. You gotta say Oishiku Nair Momo Kyun. Did I just say something racist? Probably. I think you did. I didn't. I don't know what that means, so don't ban me. Uh, hmm. That's weird. What? She's not doing anything on her computer. <laughs> this almost feels like a, one of those like misogynistic memes yeah. where it's like, I am woman, I love computer. And she's like, just fucking doing nothing but like randomly typing at the keyboard. I Paint your gun plop. Um, I detail paint. Like, I don't usually paint the entire thing, but I've spent, like, hours on some of them, like, painting, uh, certain parts, like gold or silver or panel lining. This one I'm doing right now, there's a lot of gray interior pieces that I'm painting, like, red wires, like, silver, silver bits. So it depends. Usually, I'm fine with the color scheme, so I don't usually have a desire to paint the entire thing. I have before. But uh, it's up to you. Some of the third-party kits come with, like, pre-painted details that are really good. Um, I think you're in the clear. Yeah, I think so. You should do it, Oak Tree. I want to see. Where would you sit if you were on this train? Oh. Um... Okay, so guys, we need to really, like, I'm really disappointed in you for not helping me find the anomalies. Like, it's been really, I don't know how much farther I'm going to get. Uh, this is normal. I don't think I can see anything new with this one. Maybe I can try really hard. Oh. Hey, mister, do you think we'll ever get out of here alive? Think about your sister. Okay. I think it's safe to say that this is probably not anomalous. <laughs> is that the lost tree trunk? What? <laughs> to the right. <laughs> <laughs> the old man turned into it. It was actually oak tree all along. Holy the truth shit. has been revealed. I like how I. it looks like the luggage is still there, too. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. a were oak. Did the lady turn into anything? Aw, oh, darn. Figured out the anomaly that kid hasn't paid his taxes? How do you tell? Is it the hair, like the blonde streaks? I thought for a moment it froze. Okay. There's definitely some weird shit going on outside. We're in, like, one of those tubes for dog ag agility. What? I think you're in the sky. Oh, oh and there's also, like, <laughs> cum vapor. Tube for dog agility? Oh, wow. We're going now. Business as usual, huh? His hair stinks of tax evasion. What would be, like, a tax evasion haircut? I personally feel like the Bob is a good candidate for tax evaders. Bald? Bald. Come on. Oh, our Neko Sugar Man is back. Neko, yeah. I like how their hair just spawns in. Okay. 
There's there's been like seventy anomalies in a row, right? And by that I mean two, I think. So I'm pretty sure this one's going to be safe. Okay. Um Still three icons. That kind of looked like a face from that angle, like the thing on the side. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your shirt reflection or whatever. Okay, you got anything in this? Sticks, bro! I love me some sticks, bro. I love sticks. <laughs> you know, I didn't really realize it, but it is just called sticks, huh? It would be funny if they had a commercial where it was like, Are you hungry? Are you craving a snack? Have some sticks! Whoa, oh. what was that? Yeah, there was a weird Child? goblin over there. Damn, that would have been easy to fucking miss. He's not- there's like no residual of this little fucker. There's definitely someone there. So that means we travail onward. Why are you Tolomeo? Um, well, if we want to get into it, we- you could make an argument that we are all the result of a combination of our genetic DNA and, you know, the DNA's reaction to various stimuli that we experience throughout one's life. Um, so, you know, just- it's my lived experience. And also who I am. A biological golem. The truest testament to my golemhood is that I always take the path of least resistance to the, the maximum amount of dopamine. That's why I'm addicted to bad game for pig Americans RuneScape. Oh, if you mean the actual name, then it's from Phantom Crash. There's a robot called the Tolomeo. Needed to hear that? See, look, if you, you can get it to happen again. That actually looks really funny. If someone was looking at me like that, I think they would want to have sex with me, honestly. What? I don't know. That's just kind of a creeper look, right? It wouldn't be like... I wouldn't want it. Like, it would be weird sex, but they just kind of sit there. <laughs> it would be weird. But, like, that's a sex look. Phantom Crashes... Yeah, I love that fucking game. And almost nobody knows about it. It's It's frustrating. Sex would be so cringe. You think people actually describe sexual relations with those terms? It kind of looks like that text is drool. <laughs> Zero. Alright, alright. This has gone pretty swimmingly so far. So let's fuck it up. Uh oh. Why am I moving so slow? I'm gonna get another horn jump scare. Wait. What is going on? Um. Something is. Oh. Dude, I'm like a JPEG in paint. They're stretching me. What the fuck? Don't stretch me. Please. I think I fucking died, Autumn. What? You didn't make it? Back at seven. Oh, you're, no. You're kidding. Oh, no. Okay. All right. I got it. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, I know. Damn, so there's actually, like... Uh... What? Huh? Good night. Love you. Love you too. It was a game. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Sorry, I'm just so fucking. I can't believe, like, I actually died to one of those events. No, it actually wanted me to play red light, green light. Sorry, I didn't play. Oh, wait. She hasn't done that before, has she? But I also failed three times, so, uh... Are you gonna kill me now? I 
approach her now. So, like, that's just how I I was raised. Like, a woman is looking at me. Is this a paranormal occurrence? <laughs> like, how fucked is that? Damn. All right. That was totally an anomaly. This guy pisses me off. What are you doing? Uh, I don't know. What? What? He knows a lot about boys in his 84 years of experience. What's he gonna tell me? Thank you, 3D Salmon, for the 64-month resub. I appreciate it. Never respond. Okay. Holy shit, that's a superpower. You should be able to tip him over. Okay, so we succeeded, by the way. Alright, the, there's no crazy shit on the letters. Sleep standing up. That would be so fucking cool, like a flamingo. I want to see an anomaly that involves this woman on the computer. Like, the meme potential is priceless. Did she end up liking the game yesterday? I didn't really like it that much. It was too verbose. Not enough was happening. I feel bad because normally, I was playing it on my own. I don't mind slow games that are verbose. But I just don't really like them for streaming. We need action, dude. We need, like, TikTok dopamine. It's been a long week past the yaoi. No, don't do that. This is a no yaoi zone. We don't do boys love. Mm -mm. No siree. Alright, guys. I'm not seeing an anomaly here. Dev keeps trying. Well... I don't think it was bad. I just, you know, it's not what I wanted it for a stream. Okay. God damn it. Wait. He just said one, didn't he? Isn't it like each knee saw or something like that? Like one, two, three in Japanese? So I guess my ghost death counter got reset because I died to the level? I don't know. I'm not sure. But he it definitely sounded like he was saying one. If something's wrong, you go forward. If you, if they have if they have hemorrhoids, you go ahead. You don't want to be rude after all. Well, maybe not. I mean, he said it again. Okay. I have a hernia right now. Nice. Double down? I wish I had a double down right now. That sounds fucking good. 
Well, thank you for saying that green Japanese name. Hope your schedule is good. I'm waking up at like 7 in the morning now, so my schedule is always like fucking everywhere at once. The double down? Dog, the double down is sick. Okay. She's smiling harder, but I don't know if I'm to take that as an anomaly or this is like a haha -ha, idiot, you're getting closer to dying. Because I initially thought she herself was an anomaly because she's got the weird glowing eyes, so I'm not really sure. Leaning on the side of it being an anomaly. But that seems like it's legitimately hard to tell. She's out of the anomaly scape. I feel like the only way to test it is to go and say there's no anomaly. Because if it's progress towards death and I go forward and there's an anomaly but not this, I can get like a false confirmation. And it'll lead to a lack of understanding. But if I go back out there then pay attention to her face, like I can, I can discern what's happening. So I think here I have to say there's no anomaly even though I don't necessarily believe that's the case. You feel me? Uh-oh. Flawless logic. No, no, seriously. Because, like, if I went and it was it increased progress despite me saying no anomaly, then that would rule it out as being an anomaly and I'd see her face change and know it's a mechanic. Right? Because I don't think she was smiling like that before. If her face is normal... Now you'll know it's an anomaly. Okay, it was in fact an anomaly. Her face is normal now. So a woman smiling. Is it real, bros? Forward and not necessarily because we know anomalies can repeat we i think they probably can on a single run but it's not 100 percent. it's like a 99 percent. like you're you're right that's almost assuredly correct too fuck mm. i'm not seeing anything bros Let's die to the ghost woman. Not seen the cake before? Wait, 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 what cake? On the tray? Where the fuck? Oh, God, yeah, I looked at that and I just didn't, I was talking about the, uh, you're right, like I completely just fluoride stared, at, yeah. You stared, yeah, sometimes I do that, like I'm talking to chat and I'm not really paying attention to like that screen. And I'm sitting here, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's, like, some nice pepperoni, but I was too busy talking. That's, like, the streamer brain rot right there. That shit happens all the time. Not people were talking about the old man. There are zero people in here into old man cake. I feel like her posture is slightly different. Okay, she's still got sticks. What if her... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's a, okay, so we need to always check the 11th throw because that would be easy to fucking miss. You do not see that. If you walked forward, you have to look back here. 
That is that's a sneaky one. Thank you, Papa Fubi, for the seventy-two month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. You suck the fingers? I don't think so. Some crazy bread today. Stay jealous. I had Pizza Hut, bro. Fuck your little Caesars. Fuck your little squeezers. Okay. All right. Surely we're not going to fuck up and die to the ghost woman, right? Fuck you. Crazy bread, so good. No, dude, I'm going to slap you across the face. You keep talking disrespect like that to me. Fucking Juancito Jones. Don't want to hear that shit from you. I want to meet Chairperson 2.0. We also have to make sure, like, there's not that one where she's, like, peeking at me. Rate the food on the tray. Oh, it's all dog shit, honestly. I wouldn't eat any of this. Maybe, like, one of the sandwiches. Really? Yeah. No sticks. I don't really like Pocky. If Sif was on the plane and they had, like, green mocha or whatever the fuck it's called. This green machi. I'd get some for Sif. Because she really likes those, but I wouldn't get any for myself. Total, how would you react if a gnome popped out and offered you calorie-free fried chicken? I don't fucking know. I'd probably scream and throw up. <laughs> like, what do you mean? <laughs> like... <laughs> At that point, who gives a shit about the fried chicken? Like, holy shit, is that a no? <laughs> like, would probably be my response. It's no magic. He can cast a boon on the food that makes it calorie-free. I'm not seeing anything, gang. Oh. Wait, what is that? An intruder has boarded the train. He's here. No, 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 no. Let's... Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Okay. Think that may have been an anomaly. I'm surprised. Maybe... Maybe hiding in the fucking aisles, or outside of the aisle, actually worked? Okay. You need to remember, there are anomalies that killed us. We had our first beginner's luck run was really good, and we died to being, like, MS paint stretched. Okay, wait. That's what you do with the fucking camera, I guess? Is it just mirroring my perspective? No, okay, well... Fuck you, lady. Hello, Demolition Daisy. What's up, dog? She's watching the stream. I don't see a big fucking beautiful rat. Okay, this is a freebie. Fuck you. Don't want to talk to you. Alright, alright. We're on two, baby. We're on two. Yeah, baby, fuck. This is gaming. Real Wild West hours. Cowboy dick in my ass. Need to be careful of the stretch. We don't want these ladies to stretch us, fellas. Alright, remember, if a woman looks at us or smiles at us, that isn't an anomaly. I want you to die from ghost pussy. What would that be? What would a TikTok for ghost pussy be like? Like, you have the clown girl who's like, Honka? Honka? Like, ghost pussy. Ghost pussy. Ooh, I got an abortion. This pussy's haunted. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Like, I wish I was a woman sometimes. Like, I would make such good fucking TikToks playa. 
I have the TikTok game completely defeated. My skin crawled, Tolo? Yeah, that's fair. I've had enough, man. Yeah, that's okay. So, um... Should probably be paying a little more attention to the matter at hand. Because I'm, I'm too... Is my Neko cat line? Nya, nya, nya. Nya, nya, nya. Neko booty. Okay, so where on God's green earth is the anomaly? I feel like there's been several in a row. I don't know if there's any waiting. Like, uh, there's a more or less, like, a, a higher or lower chance based off of what preceded it. Sometimes I wonder what squirting feels like. Dude, just go piss. Like, what are you talking about? God. Jenna, do you see anything? Jenna, I need your help. Do you fuck? No, you wouldn't do just piss. Okay. Dogs, I legitimately don't see anything. The light on the chair. I feel like that's always there in some capacity. Laptop screen always that bright. Yeah. Yeah, it's always like this blue screen nightmare. With three desktop icons. Alright. Are you ready for the ghost pussy? No chair hands? I don't know. Maybe. I don't... I haven't looked at the chair hands enough. Okay. Okay. There was no anomaly. For now, we will avoid the ghost pussy. Wait. There's not even a cart lady. Like, she's just straight up not here. Okay. That would be fucking criminal if you lost to that one. Like, if the cart lady just wasn't there. And you fucked up on that one. Uh-oh. Someone else isn't here now. Wait, no. No. No, no, it's happening again. I'm fucking it up. No, please. Oh my god. All right, we're at, we're at the conductor's room. You can tell without seeing because it like fucks with your ability to sprint. No, we're not out of the woods yet. We have another one. Did, did this always make a noise? Thank you, Chumsy, for the 65-month resub. I appreciate it. Are you on one chance? Yes. I feel like it didn't. I've never noticed it before. She's not wearing shoes. Um, I think she's just wearing them stupid. But yeah, I've never really looked at that. That looks like an anomaly. It's a fashion anomaly for sure. 
Like, if this bitch walked into Joelle's house, he would fucking smack the shit out of her for wearing shoes like that. Um. Wow. Hello, band streams. What's up, dog? Feel like someone would have noticed the shoe thing, though. Feels like an odd detail that everyone just missed. Oh, God. Are we ready to choke at the finish line? Where's the feet, guys, when you need them? I love choking. Oh, okay, Oak Tree. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it another look. See, I, I'm leaning towards Anomaly because of the noise in the feet, but I don't know for a fact. But if I don't know for a fact, I feel like I should chance it and just go. Yes, Chumpsy, the glowing eye lady is actually the ghost who kills you if you fuck up too many times. No, you're good, Chumpsy. Don't worry about it. Each thing only has one anomaly and hers was turning her head. Follow your gut? That's how I got fat, dude. What do you mean? I don't want to do that. Oh, God. Jenna, what do you think I should do? Jenna. Please send help. Go. Raw dog it. No anomaly. Wait, no anomaly? God, okay. Go forward, it doesn't have the message to turn back. I find your logic compelling. Okay, we did it. Hello? Ending one. I'd like to thank the Academy, my dog Sif, Oak Tree. Wait, credit song? Are we gonna get an anime song as a reward? Let's hear it. A VTuber tune? What kind of fucking song is this? Doki Bird Spotted? This is like a list to like flush out the VTuber stands, right? Who the fuck is Doki Bird? My knee is really hot, is that normal? Yeah, because the stream has been so funny, you've been slapping your knee so much, so it's a little swollen and hot. Right? I'd say that's normal. Haunted Hentai. That's my favorite person in this list. Why don't I have someone in my chat named Haunted Hentai? What the fuck? 
Cho's left thick thigh that saves lives. Theodore Williams. Because I prefer to go by Sable. There, these are some good names. Maybe you do, and that's a throwaway name. Change my name to Haunted Hentai. What would Haunted Hentai be like? Okay. So what happens after we stop the train? It actually checkpoints you. It doesn't make you play through all that shit again. You can just go back. Can I get a ghost waifu? She didn't just leave Niji. She was bullied and tormented by other VTubers. I am a terrible person because that sounds like a really serious issue. But I just imagine, like, three VTubers, like, circling someone who's huddled on the floor, kicking them, going, No! Um, I'm awful. I'm really the worst. I bet some people in here would like to be tormented in that fashion by a VTuber. I'm looking at you, Arrow Kitsune. I don't... No, I can... I don't know much about VTubers, but I've heard a little bit about idol corporations. Um, I learned a decent amount from k Popalypse when we had him on stream. And uh, my understanding is that anything remotely resembling the idol industry is dog shit. My sister would tell me about it too. Like, there's several K-pop people who have just fucking straight up killed themselves because of how they get treated by the agency as well as the fans. It sounds really stressful. Gotta see if that guy's sister woke up. Yeah, we gotta go all the way to the back. I wanted to escape VTubers, and that's why I came back? Oh, my mistake. We can talk about, um... Okay, no VTubers. What do I talk about? Shit. Um... So, I really like RuneScape. It's a great game. Amazing. Really love it. Man, I'm sorry, Arrow. I don't know a lot about VTubers. I get it through osmosis from my chat, primarily. Hello, Mega Bro. Why does this game remind you of your dad? Top five skills in Rooney. Um, invention and archaeology are on there. I do talk about VTubers like every stream, though. I tend to talk about a lot of things that get brought up by the chat every stream. That, that's true. But it's especially unavoidable with Chilla's games because Chilla's games has legitimate like VTuber references and shit. I picture VTubers bullying you by jiggling around like that VTuber concert. Internet dumb, what even is a VTuber? All right. So, a VTuber is basically someone who has, like, the little anime avatar thing. Like, a, like an animation rig that has, like, an anime character in the corner. Here, let me do, like, a simulation really quick. To make it, like, a, to give you, like, a visual representation. There are subsets of the VTuber. Like, if they don't have a fully working animation rig, it's, like, a PNG tuber. So, just imagine, like, everything's the same, but I'm, like... You know, I'm, like, bouncing up and down whenever I talk. And, you know, my, my eyes and, like, my, my VTuber lips are like, Oh, my God, I can't believe this train. It's so scary. Oh, my God, I'm going to shit myself. Um, uh, that's basically what a VTuber is. Now, with the VTuber thing, it's a little... You have, like, from what I understand, there's two major VTuber companies where you have like contracts with the company and they take like a lot of your stream revenue but they give you resources and stuff to like do events and shit and so and there's also independent vtubers as well so it's a lot of stuff there's a lot to it i only like i said i only know a bit um i'm friends with uh sheena amg sheena who i guess she knows one of the guys who's like uh part of the one of them. One of the agencies. 
tits aren't big enough to be an accurate representation of a VTuber. The VTuber thing will always specifically be funny to me because I remember, like, in 2015, we would make fun of this thing that was on Steam called Face Rig Software. Let me see if it's still up. Like, the idea of anyone using this shit was laughable to basically everybody on the website at the time. I don't think it's there anymore. Um... No, it is, it is. It's just a different name now. But, like, it wasn't, like, VTubers. You'd be, like, a... Like, a burger talking or some shit. <laughs> it was really stupid, but... You know, it was the trailblazer. I remember the burger? Yeah, yeah. People would joke about me, like, streaming as a fucking Whataburger back in the day. Oh. Use that red bobblehead from the fish game a few days ago as your VTuber model. People who tweet using an anime PFP. Oh. She's awake. Branding, Chumpsy. What did she say to me? Did she call me something fucked up? Thank you, Lathe, for the 23 months. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Is that really how you say <laughs> Japanese? What? So every time you home, I say, I, I don't want to do it. I don't want to, like, repeat what I heard because it's going to sound racist. Okay, so it's just desynced. Okay, so, mmm, is how you say everything about this is so hard to believe. I'm learning Japanese, dude. Fuck the Rosetta Stone. Fuck Babblefish. I'm in it. Oh. Saw your brother. You can you didn't see him? Is it because I didn't talk to him in the fucked up forest? I don't want to sound racist whole five minutes ago. Oh, that's not that's not like I'm saying those words right because I know them. And that's not about Asian people, that's about VTubers. Come on, that's framing it up uh, in bad faith. It, like, I don't think it's racist if you're using real words and, like, at least attempting to kind of pronounce them right. When you're doing, like, the ad libs, like, uh, I mean, you know what it's like when people mimic, like, a Asian language. <laughs> like, come on, dog. Did you see him on the way here? I already posted the X longer. No one gives a shit about those anymore. Nobody uses that. Way. Nobody who gives a fuck about X longers uses X anymore. Or Twitter or whatever the fuck. Someone got in trouble for calling Western VTubers cultural appropriation. I remember there was a time period where Pokimane dipped her toes into the VTuber thing. And people got really mad at her for appropriating VTuber space. And it was really funny. I'm not a Pokimane fan. But I really liked her in that moment for making them so mad. <laughs> like, is it such a non-issue? God forbid one of these these Western white women use a VTuber rig. Ugh! <laughs> the dumbest shit in the world. Let's find him and get out. What about the people who might end up here in the future? Politics of VTubers is scarily hostile. I don't have knowledge on that, but in general, it is difficult to have fruitful relationships with other streamers for a variety of reasons. Maybe that's just me. But at the same time, I look at all of the streamer drama, and I'm not sure. Yes, Nexospine, there are. This was, like, way, way back, like, a few years ago. 
I think the sentiment towards Western people doing the VTuber shit has softened. And it wasn't even just that either. It was also like VTubing is like a burgeoning, like new frontier and you're a big streamer co-opting it. Fuck you. Mm. I saw this in an anime or something. Hello, potato. This is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Like, I, I wish you had stayed asleep. <laughs> You're gonna run. We're gonna Naruto run in two different directions. Okay. How about that? Okay. Just like in my animes. How on Twitter, 90% of them are pre-debut VTuber. What's, what's funny about that? I don't understand. You have to... Like, I'm old... And stubborn with new ideas, so you're gonna have to walk me through this slowly. Okay. Y yeah, it did skip forward. It would be kind of funny if I left now. It's like, yeah, th we're gonna run in different directions and get off, but you just left her to die. Oh. Well, I think I just fucked it up, actually. I don't think I have a choice now. Do I? I thought we were gonna hit both go and hit the buttons, but I guess I was supposed to wait probably. Oh well. You can now just put a PFP and VTuber in name and you can call it there. Okay, but here's my counter argument. Get ready, cause this one's a doozy. Who fucking cares? Like, that's my thing. She can find her brother on her own. I agree. They do? I, I don't know, dog. You're the one bringing this up. Who's they? You're the one who finds it funny. VTuber fans talk more about how a VTuber is totally... Totally is fucking someone instead of talking about video games, so I don't really interact with them. I mean, we don't exactly talk about video games 100% of the time, either. Um. Said normal side. I thought she said that I was going to the green side, and she was going to the normal side. Maybe I needed to read it differently, or, like, better. I'm just here for hating on... Well, no, I don't actually hate women. Um. I don't hate anybody. We talk about fucking instead. Well, no, that's not true. I do hate people who don't use their turn signals. That's true. Like, I don't like those people. I don't like people with the huge lifted trucks that have, like, the fucking floodlights tailgating me at night. Saying no... The choice thing is weird. I, I think I know what you mean. Ever come to Dog, I live in Texas, brother. Like, I, there's no way it can be worse. You hate Ford and BMW owners. If they're tailgating me with fucking floodlights, yes. If they can be normal, then no. I need to pay more attention to this sequence. That was my mistake. I would like to humbly apologize to everyone. You can go back to the green car side. I'll go to the normal car. Okay. 
I'll go to the normal side. Are you sure? My brother's on the other side. Okay, so I picked normal side for sure. They're the Fort Worth. Oh, yeah. Dude, the traffic in DFW is a fucking nightmare. Like, it's legitimately awful. And it's like people have been moving here in fucking droves. So even outside of DFW, like, my shitty little suburb town is horrible. Like, it's an actual fucking nightmare. So, yeah. I saw an online store today that was selling a fin for the back of your car that looked like they had lights in it to shine on tailgaters. I thought about getting light bars and putting them on, like, the inside of my car in the back and only using them when some motherfuckers... But knowing Texas, I would probably... They'd follow me to my house and shoot me. So, I don't know how wise of an idea that is. San Antonio? I like San Antonio. It's nowhere near as bad traffic-wise as Dallas. Or Austin. Um, I, I would recommend eating at a place called the Alamo Cafe... It's my favorite childhood restaurant, so maybe it's nostalgia speaking, but I went last year, and it's extremely cheap and really good. It tastes exactly like how I remember as a kid. I don't know how many other people are going to like that taste, but it's like the only fucking place I will eat enchiladas at to this day. Um, I go there, and I order like seven cheese enchiladas, and that's my entire dinner. They have like a tortilla factory where you can see people making the tortillas, which are also delicious. I I don't know. Um, I'm not sure how appealing it is to other people. Autumn seemed to like it but not love it. But I fucking... Holy shit. So, um... What the fuck is this? Wow. Oh! Oh, holy fuck, okay. No! 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 Please, God, no! Holy shit, that was actually really cool. Well, no wonder... Yeah, I, I guess it was good we came over to this side, huh? Holy shit. Is it possible that I did actually choose the right thing last time, and since I didn't go to the normal side, she died? I, I probably still fucked up, but like maybe that was a possibility too. Also, an actual fucking, like, ending worth going back for deserves praise. That was really fucking cool. Probably the best part of this entire game. I was not expecting that. I guess that's one way to, like, build up tension is, like, you're playing, like, a very, very, very slow pace find the objects game. And then, holy shit... <laughs> <laughs> You're being... There's a molester on the train. What if it's actually the monster and she kills him? Chillas makes a good... Dude, his last several have been good. Like, he had a period of time where they were not very good for a while. But, like, I think, like, the last four games from him I played have all been pretty, pretty damn good. He has actually made a comeback. 
お兄さん僕はもう大丈夫だよそうだお兄さんも一緒に来る Yeah, let's go, let's go join the kids. So, this is not a good thing. I'm not sure if 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 I'm not sure This one's had technical issues. The last one I played, Jisatsu, had like some weird lighting issues too. But the actual content of the games has been pretty good. So, Yuri, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the h o Satsu is awesome. I think Parasocial is still probably my favorite. Um, oh! Neko, Neko, Nya! Karui. That is okay. That's scary. Deep vein thrombosis. I think all of us have thought about getting that, right? You're you're gaming ten hour long Stardew Valley session. If you're me, sir, Jenna. Deep vein thrombosis. Oops, you're fucking dead. Economy class syndrome. あしを上げることでよくなったようです。本当に良かったですね。この列車が止まっているせいで救急車を呼ぶことも数分前に起きた人身事故です。その事故でこの列車はしばらく止まっているんです。失礼します。事故には若い女性と少年が巻き込まれ
How many colors is too many for a model kit? I think you should have, like... I mean, that's a very subjective question. I don't know. Hello, Lonkin Islander. You just gotta go with your heart. I think, uh, in my opinion, probably, like, two main colors and, like, the shades of said colors, but for details and, like, smaller parts, you could have more. Um, so maybe, like, a, like, main colors, gray and white, but then you have, like, minor bits of, like, red or silver, um, for, like, small pieces or details. Um, I don't know though. Like you, I've seen people who have like fucking like an extreme amount of different colors, and it looks great. I think uh, sometimes it depends on what you're painting too. I think if you're painting like a, a Gundam that's more square and blocky, you should probably go with fewer. But if you have like sleek and slender with a lot of angles, maybe you could get away with more. Uh. I'm not sure. I haven't really given it thought. Have you ever left a review for a stream game? Yeah, every once in a while. Um, it's not often, but I, I do from time to time. The only two I think that I've actually put, like, a great... Not a great deal, but, like, a decent amount of effort into was for Shipwrecked and Crystal Project. The others are just, like, stupid shit that are like, ah, ha, ha, good game, ha, <laughs> All right, we need to see what happens if we get owned by the ghost. Hello, farm pig. What's up, dude? Hey. <laughs> the Tura Time Review, good game? Yeah. When I do that, it's it's not that I'm trying. It's it's because I know it boosts the algorithm on Steam. Um, so it's like, oh, this is an indie game that I enjoyed. I didn't really give it too much thought, but like, there's they don't have many reviews, so I'm gonna go ahead and boost. I I will do it for like really small games. Okay, so let's just go forward. Fuck it. Send it. Our goal here is to die. Specifically annoyed at the negative reviews on Detura Time and wanted to balance it out. That sounds right, yeah. I'm getting old. Because sometimes, like, I'm, I'm getting more irritated when people just say, like, outrageously stupid shit. And, like, the height of that was the... Please sit at your reserved seat. Your seat number is... No. Uh, the shipwrecked comments really fucking pissed me off. What happens if I don't? Oh, shit. Uh-oh. That was disappointing. You should have slapped the shit out of you. Like, I'm I'm all for, like, a, a quote-unquote scare that's not scary. But he should have just, like, slapped the piss out of you. Only noise it makes is, like, the sound of his fucking hand colliding with your cheek. I think the anomaly was the head turn. Lady isn't even the ghost. Holy shit, we're on we're on five, baby. We're going all the way. We're gonna win. Oh shit! Damn, bitch! I've had that happen to me at Walmart, but with like really fat people and like point one like one five times speed.
You know when you're in the soda aisle and there's like little caves where you could theoretically fit in because the sodas in like specific segments are, are all gone. It's like that. Yeah, I got surprisingly far just coin flipping it. I think this game has ended up being pretty good, but I definitely prefer the approach of Exit 8 where you don't get repeats. And so you're probably going to see basically everything. I feel like that's harder to do when there can be repeats. Holy shit! What the fuck is that? That was fucked up! Fuck you, Chilla! I thought I failed, and that was just there to make me fuck up. But I'm built different. Stupid fucking tomato pussy. You know... It'd be kind of fucked up if you told a woman she had a tomato pussy. I'm gonna add that to my repertoire of insults. Oh my god, the squid game thing. Oh, uh, what? You heard me. Don't make me repeat it. What do you even mean? I don't fucking know. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. All right, that was... That was interesting. Alrighty, so that's the ghost jump scare. Ooh, 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 donk, donk, that's it? Yeah. Is that how she kills you? I, I guess so. I like the build-up. I just felt like maybe something more should have happened than she just stares at you. Like, I get stared at by women all the time with looks of disapproval. Like, that's not scary. That's just life. That's a blue ball. Maybe they thought nobody would actually see it, and so they didn't put a lot of effort into it. Uh, hold on. Pop it out. What happens if you get killed by the thing at the end? That's a good fucking question, but I don't know if I want to make that track. That's a long walk. All right. Huge fan of the red light green. Yeah, that was pretty funny. I, you gotta wonder how many other funny anomalies are. Like the one where she's sprinting down the fucking aisle. Isekai Mario? Hell no. I can't get into gacha, dude. That would fucking kill me. Alrighty, dogs. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Gotta do bingo tomorrow. Uh, hope you have a good rest of your weekend. Gonna go, um, gonna go drink some Diet Coke and play with my baby dick. Have a good one, dogs.